I'm Michael Jones from Achievement Hunter, and you're currently watching the Off Topic Podcast. Or you're about to. If you want to watch it live, Friday at 12 p.m. Central, click on this link right here to sign up to be a first member at roosterteeth.com. You get access to all kinds of stuff like live podcasts, sweet shows, that on the spot's coming back. You want to watch that? I won't, but you might want to. So go sign up. First month is free. And, uh, you know, if you care after that, you know, just stick around. You like my hat? Look good in a hat. Zach logo. Oh, no, no, no. Now you made me spill it on the iPad. How dare you? Sweet non We haven't even beer. started yet. We have now. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's Aww. somebody else's. That's, that's worse. Don't be an animal. It's you're, worse. You're, you're going to be on on the spot later. Save it for that. At least all right, the don't alcohol. Ruin it. Well, actually, this comes out tomorrow. Don't Never ruin mind. it. First of all, this comes out afterwards. I know. It's already been announced that you were on. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> so I forgot there was a Somebody tweet. spill some whiskey or something this on it to clean the germs off. This is pre-recorded because we're actually in New York right now, but you are drinking early. Well, here's the thing, right? If you're watching it as a sponsor, First member, we're in New York right now, getting ready for Let's Play Live. Check it out. Maybe you can mm -hmm. still go see it. Fathom Events, whatever the link is. I don't know. Jack says it. Let's Play Live. Fathom Events. Google it. I bet it. they have it, it somewhere. Broadcast. Yeah, I bet it'll be here somewhere. Huh. Yeah. If you're watching this, <laughs> there it is. Public release uh, on Saturday. Oh my God! It's tonight. Tonight's Let's Play Live. Holy shit! New York. Whoa! We're not ready if at a movie theater. If you're watching it Sunday, well, who cares? It's over. The real question you is: Has it. Gavin bought a ticket yet? Yeah, you did. Oh, good. I mean, you you, you buy last night? flight, not yeah. to Let's Play Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, get, I get that in for free. You get that for free, yeah, yeah, right. No. But So you bought your ticket to Let's Play Live, what, yesterday? Yep. On All right. third, Wednesday. Here's, here's the stick I always get, right? Yeah. Oh, book way in advance, book way in advance. I don't ever know where I'm going to be to fly from. Mm -hmm. If I book from Austin and I'm in LA mm -hmm. right before I go, mm -hmm. it's a wasted ticket. Mm -hmm. Leave it to the last minute. A little bit more expensive, but at least I won't have to change the flight. I, I agree to the point of, like, last minute I would call maybe 10 days, not... Two days before the show. I have a Vegas. That's like anus second. I have a Vegas shoot that's like Vegas, going baby. all over the place, and I didn't want to. Yeah. You know. I heard that got pushed. It did. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Did. Cool. Cool. Good thing. Good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're gonna make it. I was aiming for something. I was gonna make it either way. I just didn't know where I was. Gonna Any play. of the glasses, like yeah. if it landed in one of them, would have been, been a good shot. It's upside down. No, the, all the pint glasses. Oh, those right? are there. Okay. I threw it in the shelf, man. Like, they're open. I, that's why I missed. That's, yeah. Hey, uh, by the way, if you're just joining us, that that's Ryan there. I'm your oh, host, hi. Michael, and joining us are Andy and Gavin. Welcome hey. to episode 45. I feel like I we got, I got top billing over you did. these two. Yeah. You, well, you're, I think your name was said first. Mm. Maybe Gavin's was, totally makes sense. I should be last. Ignore him. You shouldn't even be well, at you're like all. Michael Ryan and these two. This, this episode sponsored <laughs> by Jack Threads and Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> you look so confused. I know. Jack, uh... Javin, you could use Jab Javin. threads for your face. It's hideous. Yeah, he what? said he said that one day so, he should wake up and just start. What is Jack threads? Again. Clothes? Did I say yes. Jack threads? Yeah. You should use Dollar Shave Jack Club for your face. That, that, that makes more sense. I don't want to put Jack threads, threads for your body. Well, I mean, cover, cover more of it up. <laughs> yeah, like a scarf. Hang on, no wait. Just keep, just keep Something's going. Something's happening. Damn. You were talking about how you looked it. disgusting this morning, weren't you? I just need a haircut, don't I? Yeah, you look kind of gross. I try and get away with two a year. That's sort of your face, right? What is? This oh the hat, Michael. Are you a quick change artist? From that Jack, was amazing. From Jack threads. You wear it on your face. But moments ago, you had a different hat on. I know. I know. These happen? things happen. These things happen. I used to wear baseball caps a lot, like my entire life growing up. I stopped wearing. Wasn't them when the I moved first Oslo you were in? You were wearing a baseball yeah. cap. Yeah. People, I, I people now I wouldn't associate hated it. it at all. Hated I associate that hat. you with a beanie. I know. Well, I wore both, but I wore this like my entire life, and then I got here and just stopped. Never, ever, Is ever wore a baseball cap. You became less of a fan of baseball. No. Were you ever a fan of baseball? No. <laughs> no, that's fair. No, definitely not. I don't know. And then, uh, and then I was thinking about bringing it back. I'm like, yeah, I should wear, I should wear caps again. Fucking Craig showed up. Oh, he's the hat guy. He's kind of the hat guy. And now, now actually, even in Achievement Hunter, it's Jack. But he wears like the flat rim. He's yeah. like the bro hats, which is Jack took a turn, man. Like the army. Hats. Well, the problem with hats time? though, when we yeah. do this kind of thing, is that the light you get this. Which That's is not great it's for flat. lighting. Oh, yeah. Well, no, kind of kind of when you're doing broadcast stuff, it's right. like, for, well, your eyes are gone. For sunlight and such outside, it's, it's, it's lovely purpose. outside. You know what? You need a baseball hat with some LEDs 
Do I need that? That shine in your eyes. I feel like that would get quite warm. Or just be an asshole and wear your hat on backwards. Oh no! Here's what we do: we just have an intern follow you around with one of those bounce lights. Uh, you, you know, and just there you go. It's your light is is perfect all the time. I mean, usually that's just a piece of. Yeah, I mean that's not a light I mean, that right. that bounces the light, but it doesn't make it bounce light. <laughs> There's a guy following us with like that white. Yeah, the, the white, white sheet. Flup, what do you call it? A flop. Well, what were you gonna like guess it was called? Flop out thing. I don't know. I was just giving it kind of a. Hey, what's a that noise. thing called? Anybody know? I'll get your flop out. Wait, what is it? A foam core? No, it's not called a foam core. Uh, we're, we're hearing board. conflicting reports. Bounce board makes sense. Who said foam core? Well, it can be made of foam. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Hey, hey this we, guy might know. Why don't? Why didn't you answer the question? Mm -hmm. I was doing. I was doing his impression of flop. Whatever. Oh flop. yeah. yeah. Well, that's the kind of when they go. It's like a flop oh, noise. That's right? an onomatopoeia. Wait, dude. Yeah, it's like like just yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. Flop. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. See. All uh, right. Can we get the flop out here? Back it up. It may not have been accurate, but it was descriptive. What the flop? Like censorship. Too. Oh man! But like you said, it's that'd be, early. That'd yeah, be great. That, like this has got to be not mixing taste well with toothpaste. Well, I liked. It doesn't mix with toothpaste. And if you if you notice here, Andy's drinking the. Uh, I made a sacrifice for the rest of. You should seen the first yeah, sure one. Sure, you did. He's drinking out of the achievement hunter glass here. Yeah. And you can see the off-topic logo behind him on the screen. And he and as the intro's rolling, he goes, "That's just like my cup." And I'm like, "No, no, idiot!" I this was more or less making a joke because the cl the cup on the screen was like perfect. And oh, was just I thought you were foam. saying it was the same graphic. I was being like was sarcastic, like, like, "Look, I did it just like in the picture." No, you did it way worse. I know that was the joke. I was you're, like me being sarcastic about Andy it. Andy filled two there were entire so many pint jokes glasses. It was flying <laughs> around. I don't know. That, keep up. I don't know that any of that counted as a joke. Uh, well, to me it was. It was, it was <laughs> whether it landed or not, I know that I delivered it. it it's a, your fault for not accepting look, the it joke. It was self-deprecating. It's yeah. like, look, that guy's as bad at pouring beer as I'm at, at pouring ah, beer. Man. Exactly. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, but Boy, I'm determined I'm gonna keep words. drinking it. Alright, you do that. I've been calling you out less on your flubs. That is not true. That's true. That is not true. you agree that's true. true. It's hard to keep track. I don't know. It's, I, I know every second. That something falls out of my mouth incorrect. That sometimes I, hear about. I can like uh, he just stumbled there a bit. Some sometimes he'll give you a break. I don't know that it's a lot because my go-to when Ryan flubs is this, and I just look at Gavin and I wait to see what he's gonna do about it. And sometimes he'll go, yeah, I'll, I'll be like, <laughs> but not that, worth it. He's done it enough now that somebody else in the room will take care of it. Though. I mean, I only do it because I flub the second most probably. Because I'm a, I'm a big flubber. I'm just like I don't try and deny that I'm a flubber. It's. I don't try and deny it. It's not like I can pretend I don't. I'm a pretty decent sized flubber. Yeah. Yeah, I flub a lot. What do you think of the movie? Uh, <laughs> R.I.P. Robin Williams. Solid movie. Good thought. It wasn't the, the, solid. The, the little it was robot gelatinous. movie. It was very, very bouncy. The little bouncy. robot. I like the robot. The robot got killed. Sorry. Spoil that movie. Then they get another. I movie. don't even remember that there He's, was a robot. Are you dropping flubber spoilers? <laughs> no, flubber. <laughs> yeah, I'm dropping some hard flubber I didn't know spoilers. This was a spoiler cast. Yeah. Man, look the, how fucking the yellow robot. Look how red you are. Do you see that? Look at that. Jeez. Damn, dude. You should have. Well, no, okay. Look. Makeup. Here, look. not so bad. Over there. Look yeah, at him but, over there. But I mean, oh my god. Look I mean, at him over no, there. No, no, I know. That's what I'm looking at. But now look at me. Wait, no. Cut back to Andy. Exactly. No, look over there. It's even worse. No, okay, you gotta show Andy. No, it's the same. It's the same. These two are oh, the same. No, that's that's, that's way definitely worse. red. That's way worse. I was pretty red. Get a hold of yourself. Too, yeah. I need to make up. And then on this one, you look fine. And then there it now is. You're, now you're <laughs> yellow. This one looked like the robot from Flubber. It dies. Was that thing and like over there too? Ah, it was like it's everywhere. Weebo or something. Was Weebo. Yeah, it was actually think, a woman. Yeah, it was a woman projecting. And, Onto him and like making out with him and stuff. I think so. Yeah, he was Wait, a womanly man in that movie. That's yeah, didn't he like it. shag the robot? I don't think he did. Movie yeah. at all, apparently. Yeah, he had like a wet dream about the robot. I think so, and then that's why he made flubber. He flubbed in his pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you build me to love you properly? Poor flubber. That's a terrible movie. It's really dumb. Is it's it not good? Fucking awful. I wonder, like, what does it have for like a Rotten Tomatoes movie? Like, I remember just like like I mean, nostalgia universally. Wise, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Being just like no plot and just filler everywhere. Stupid shit. Was he just looking for a replacement for the lining on his fleshlight? I mean, what what's That's up with this guy? He was, guy, he was inventing the first fleshlight. This is dude. You wouldn't want to shag a fleshlight full of flubber. It'd you, just reject you. Well, <laughs> your, knob hit, your knob would hit the end, and it would get blasted <laughs> back <laughs> into yourself. You'd end up with a it vagina. It would be bad. Yeah. Yeah. You'd end up with a vagina. A penal inversion. They call 23%. it. Twenty-three percent. There it is. Is Ooh, that is that what a vagina terrible. is? Can you reach in far enough and pull out a dick? Is that what it is? It's just inside out. Well, I mean, when when I think they when do you like, get a vagina plastic, works, right? that's yeah. what usually what they do, right? They just take the penis and they go. Yeah, when they do like a reassignment, don't yeah. they like push it in? 
a vagina. I mean, I'm sure there's some stuff done. I'm saying I don't think it's like turning a shirt inside out. Well, I mean, you know, it's like room. they stick their arm in the sleeve and they pull the sleeve there's out. There's room behind good, your you penis to have, you know, you can just push it all in. Really? So, I mean, right. so, the, so anyway. you're saying that the taint region is kind of open in there. Well, on the inside, there's, there's gaps. There's gaps. Well, I mean, look at the pelvis. Stop anything that's in that's where that's, the that's expansion slots. Right. In case you want to insert right. other anatomy. Uh-huh. That's okay. like that phone that they came out where you could like put like the camera over here and like the memory card over oh, here. Oh, that the modular thing. Yeah, yeah. the little block. That never board. actually happened. I don't think it came out, no. <laughs> I just remember seeing pictures of it online. It was a great idea. But that'd be concept, cool to have like a detachable penis and like you could put a vagina in whenever you want. Or that would be oh, like cool Mr. For, potato Head that'd style. Be cool. yeah. Yeah. It would be cool like if, if you don't buy a whole new time. phone, but like a better camera came out, you'd be like <laughs> Well that was that was there was a concept that was just that, where yeah. every module of the phone would be replaceable, but I don't know if they like, hey, ever like made if you it. don't want to make phone calls, take out the antenna. Yeah. <laughs> don't need it. I'm Wi Fi. Apple today. did that with their four. What? They took the antenna out of the fork because it was super shitty. Again, another joke that no, didn't it's, land. It's, it's, it's well, true. Well, it's not a joke. No, it's it. true. Like, just, that it was around the outside of the Yeah, I know. You got to look up what jokes are. I don't know. You're just stating facts here. <laughs> Keep drinking. The, the iPhone came out in 2007. <laughs> 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 Seriously, though. Almost a decade ten, ago. 1022. That's crazy. Yeah, 1022 drinking beers. Hell of a life. Uh, so it's... Uh, the phone is bullshit. What, the iPhone 7 is bullshit. What's oh up? yeah? What's up? Oh, he was, you he was hot about it just now? a minute ago. Well, everyone's like, well, it's great. We've got a second lens, the plus. You know, mm -hmm. zoom in, use the second lens. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Only yeah. sometimes. Outside, though. Yeah. It's the, like phone, a, why? the phone knows when it looks good. So, why? The iPhone 7 Plus has two lenses, right? One is, uh, one is a wide, one's a telephoto. See, there's two. You can't really see it on there. It's nice and glossy. Uh, you, there's, a two yeah, times, there's a two times zoom button, which. In all that material makes you think, oh, I'll just switch to the other lens. But only if it's bright enough. If it's if you're indoors, it will use the regular wide lens and just digitally push in. Mm -hmm. so Point! You're, you're saying the light sensor on the telephoto lens is crap. It's just like it doesn't work well in low light, I guess, but there's no way of actually Picking that lens. You can't say like, no, I'm an adult, yeah. and I choose I to choose. use the wrong it's lens. Because, it. listen, it's 2016, you can't be trusted. The phone knows but why have a you? button that performs differently depending on where you're stood? Like, I don't want to ever digitally zoom. Aren't they? So zooming, I would like, rather have don't. that grayed out than like accidentally zoom into Aren't they it, doing you know? like, like like a camera update later this year, and that's why the second lens is there? Like, you can use the second I don't lens think now. They really you, use, just, oh. you have to be outside. You can test it by the update coming out? Maybe you use it inside. Portrait or something. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it just sucks. Maybe it's a crap. You gonna get the Google Pixel now? There you go. Those are expensive as hell. I heard that. I mean, the ads for that. Are you really? I mean, the commercial. Yeah. People wow. keep saying that. I watched it. All I see is like your fire tornado, That's heavily overlaid Dan, with text. Dan is in it with the balloon. There's a fire tornado and the spinning. There's giant ball. text over all of that. By the yeah, way. and for most of it, there's like. The, the whole ad is like blocking the main bit yeah. of the video. Yeah. It's, I like, mean, it's just it's in there. Why even license all that stuff to run behind it? Because it is not visible. You can see it. You, you, you knew it was in there. But unless it's so recognizable. I knew it was in there like, because oh, the subreddit told me it was in there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I looked real close. And I was like, oh, those are those blue fans. That's all I recognize. <laughs> because they're all over the office. Because they're all over the office. Yeah, with, with little vampire stakes attached to the bottom <laughs> of them. <laughs> they kept blowing over. That's what that was. Okay. I had to. We had to nail on the those. Fan? Well, no. This, to we, keep put it during in one of the various cleanups, including uh, when something happened, something happened. Right. Uh, we'll talked about it in a few months. Someone <laughs> held up a stake and was like, "Why do we have this?" Yeah. I, I couldn't. I had no. It was idea. all the fans. Like yeah. I remember when the day he brought them in, they were all pointed. And it's like yeah. you can murder someone with those. Yeah, I think Marcus hammered all that because the fans kept flopping over right, when they were outdoors. So we had to. They were. It makes sense. Yeah, it actually down. makes perfect sense for outside. You use like kind of a wood stake. Like the second lens on the iPhone. Yeah. I need those, I need those fans back soon, by the way. Yo, are, you really? telling, are, you, are you telling me? I thought I'm you just, had them. At some point, I'm going to take Just them. telling somebody in general? Oh, I we could buy more, I guess. They, I don't think they were much. But probably a huge budget for They're about $20 a, a pop. That's, uh, yeah, right now. that's yeah. kind of a huge budget for most Slomo guy shoots. Where it's like, yeah. thing, if, As soon as we hit camera. triple figures, I hate it. <laughs> and that includes Dan's... Like, like per deal, like whatever. Yeah, it's per deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking of a good word. Dude, he yeah. just raids my cereal. That's that's his per deal. He's Kramer. Yeah. He just comes over and he, he eats all your food and plays all your video games. Did I tell you that I found he had a secret cabinet in my kitchen? Yeah, he did. What? Actually. That's, that's awesome. You should mention that. Yeah. Well, I was like moving stuff around because 
there's there's cabinets in my kitchen I haven't used, so I was like, I've got to pull this crap away. Like, uh-huh. I opened one of the cabinets above the oven. It was full of cereal and like all of Dan's crap, and he just like commandeered one of my kitchen cabinets. How is it you have a, a kitchen cabinet that is not gone used? Because my entire life is full of garbage. I mean, he doesn't have kids, and he's well, not so, from America. Yeah, I haven't so he lived have there. A life of shit. I haven't but lived stuff there too long. It does. True. That's why I was using the cabinets finally. But mm-hmm. he's getting there. He went to go use the cabinet, but then it was already filled in. He's working his way up to a real boy. Yeah. You know what does it too? And uh, once you finally get uh, not saying you should anytime soon or imply anything about your life, but once you get married, Mm -hmm. uh, people just give you a bunch of shit. Yeah. I mean, you register for it and they're like, oh, yeah, I could use a slow cooker. And then you have one. It's always But that goes in the shelf. Well, uh, surely that's kind of what you need in a house. Yeah, but you don't have it. If if you already live together, you've already got all that. I mean, but maybe you don't have. Good ones. Yeah, oh, that's, right. that's what a that's what a wedding registry is for. It's you get, like you get, they you replace, replace the crap the that, that I have. have. Right, I have crap. I mean, a nice set. I'm a big thrower away. Yeah, like like I don't really accumulate yeah. as as fast because if if I know I'm not going to use something or it's old, it's like I need. It. You have no sentimental value. Yeah, it's like, like some the, things. Uh, yeah, but not not like like the cheeseburger from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot to eat it. We had lunch. Delivered, mm-hmm. so we I'm not, I'm delicious not someone, P. Terry burgers. Delicious P. Terry, so we could eat and, and keep working and shooting videos. I ate on the fries and then and then I ate on them. He, ate yeah, the you ate on the fries. I ate on some of them and then I was like distracted by email, Slack or something, and then my burger went cold. And I'm not really one for reheating bread because uh-huh. it goes wet, so I threw it away. Kevin. I will. Oh! Oh! And that's the second spill for the podcast. Yes. Yeah. Uh, wait. I, Below the dog. So uh, they were ready for us. Yeah, there's some there. I used some of That's them already. Like a napkin. Well, I used some of oh, them already. Some no, that I mean that there's is an actual there's napkin tray. Okay, so we got it. Should we get like a roll that just sits under the we table? Should. No, we have should get. We should have uh like a like a bar cleanup guy. This has got like a, oh, a, yeah. a like spritzer like a bottle and a rag. Yeah. And just comes over and was, cleans up for the drunks. Kind of hoping we could just have like a a rip chain or something where you just yank it and just. Toilet paper range from the ceiling, because I mean usually it's, <laughs> it's more elaborate. Confetti. When we have messes, they're they're usually pretty considerable. This is why nobody should send us stuff. Like Just coffee spilled on or ruined? No, like someone Anything? went to the time. Like that's ruined now. It's well, I mean to be fair, that that, that is its purpose. It's a coke. It's so. cork. It's, it's meant to like absorb liquid. Good job. Yeah, I'll take them. Missed it by that much. Right. It just it grew a tail as it was flying. Let me just whip this over here. Oh, it's always interesting how the the correction for the mm-hmm. spill always creates more spill than the original knock. If I'd have just not, not always touched but it, it would have been like that. A lot of times. Oh yeah, oh, when you went to like, like smacked it when you fumbled yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes as well when you spill, especially if it goes towards someone and then you try and catch it, it looks like you just threw liquid in their face. <laughs> it's like, whoa! <laughs> I think my favorite spill still is when Ryan punched the fucking beer out of Lindsay's hand. Like, as she filled it, it up, totally turned awesome. around, and then it was like, psh, and it, it just, just went, smacked look, it. It just went straight That was awesome. Up. It just went right into her face, too. Just, <laughs> <laughs> she did well to hold it, though, to be fair. She didn't let Which go. Which is funny, because she drops everything. Yeah. She was, the shock just made her clinch. Yeah, it was like rigor mortis. It killed her. <laughs> She's fine now, though. Pop. She's been, like, the maid recently of the room. She comes in, like, what, cleans up the room? Yeah, because we're fucking animals. That's why. We are kind of animals. I was told that that's, god, my, that's my job for tomorrow when you guys are out. I have to clean up the main room. Well, I mean, oh, god, yeah, good luck. Do it, so. But fun what, what do you do in there? The problem is everything is something. It's not like piles of garbage, like wrappers and empty yep. cups. It's like everything I try to in there is a thing. thing. I try to organize it and put it in a place where I'm not going to get yelled at if I put it somewhere. It's okay. a thing that fucking Jack and Jeff don't throw away. That's what that it is. That is definitely Going what Gavin just said, you don't need shit, throw it away. That doesn't exist in the Achievement Hunter office. Like, save, save it forever. We have two fucking couches now. We don't need two couches. It, Are they both a, in the room? It's a nice both couch, in the room. but it's like... Uh, Shove it in there. Jack's like, cram it in there. It'll fit. Just <laughs> don't take anything out. Just add more. Now we can have twice okay. the moochers just hanging we out. We don't ever oh. use the couch ever. We well, did the moochers the might. Mario Party just came out. All right. We did use the couch one time. I would like to use it months. more for Let's Watch stuff. That'd Even, be nice that if makes we could make like a little a couch v? for it. Like, what yeah. if we had like a, a nice little setup there? Actually, oh, we now we have we've two. had this discussion of, of that. Why don't you just do get now a couch? Two, we can, you can just do theater mode in yeah, the Yeah, you can stack them. Look, yeah, that's we fly. need to get one of these rigs anyway for VR, right? We need some kind of overhead. Good drop luck, mic, man. I've had it. Yeah. We also need to get that cable hanging from the ceiling somehow. For the, Let's the do headset. all of that. 
Yeah. We should, we should just go all out. Like, not yeah. make videos for a week and just fix our lives a little bit. Rearrange the office. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff we could do. <clears throat> should we rearrange the layout of the table? Yes, absolutely. I, I do miss not being able to see everyone. I miss the L. I've ne I don't like, I ever see L. Jeff at work. He couldn't be further from me. And see, he's blocked and by, the like, thing is, I don't, I don't even care so much as seeing Jeff. I care about seeing Jeff's monitor. I care about, like, seeing what people are doing. You when, want a Caleb? When Jeff's like, <laughs> I just want to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> that was and I was, used to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. That was what was sad the other day when uh, we were playing A.H. Still of Easter again. And you got plowed by Trevor, and Jack was just wetting himself. Oh, yeah. Him. There was pee pee coming out of yeah. him. Yeah. But for your, sure. your monitor's angled, so I can. I can I think I can see your delayed one, but uh -huh. I don't really look at that, and uh -huh. I can't see Jack's because it's opposite. So I'm just there, like, it's not really funny. We all have we all have these peepholes. Like I, if I lean like this, I have a direct line of sight to Jack, yeah. and which I assume you have a similar thing to Ryan. All, uh, all really. I can see, I've of got Ryan. That wall of monitor. The only thing Ryan we ever fixed. see of Ryan is Ryan <laughs> doing this. <laughs> and you just see like here up come over. It's like Ryan's excited. That's why yeah. we always comment it in videos because the part all we that's can see is his not fist. visible in this camera angle. That's yeah, what they get to it's see. It's true. It's true. A little bit of a reverse there. But, so that's uh, funny though. I miss. Yeah, I like the old setup. I like. I like the. I think stage five won the best. Like the the six three six. We were on the two walls, mm. and mm. then we had the L like, in the room. Yeah, it was good. It was spacious. Should we do it again? You know, whatever, sure. Just try to fit everything. You I don't, have we now couldn't do in that though in our room. Why not? Because the the walls are so far apart. So if we did like opposing walls, it would be. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. Just do we, the L shape. We do the L. Yeah. Just we go do the, the L corner and sure, then hit yeah. that. Yeah. No, we'd be fucking forty feet like apart from each other. In there. Yeah. Like I just said. Well, you said six three six. I said stage that five. That was his favorite. Oh. No, I said stage five was my favorite. Oh, okay. I liked six three six as well. But that's fine. I, I didn't like six three six. I, didn't, I, didn't I, I mean, the setup was fine. The room was just the size of a fucking like the couch red box. and my table created this much of a gap, and people would twat my chair yeah. whenever they walked by. Man, that's. I'm sorry, people were messing with your stuff. How's it now? Is it better with more space? Life, life gotten them. What you mean, my improved? desk and stuff? Hey, you know your setup in general, your desk. Yeah. You know what's funny? H haven't seen a single comment about it in the unboxing video. Is it visible? Yeah. No. I'm All looking right. at it. I'm watching the unboxing video. Not a single fucking comment. I'm like, hey, what? what happened there? What did you unbox? It was the Gears. The uh, Gears Xbox it. One S. Uh, we're, we're unboxing it. We did it near the, the whiteboard. And I make a point to go over to your desk and say, like, you're a big piece of shit. And, like, you know how you leave everything all around your desk? That's the one thing you actually took home. Like, you're like, oh, I'm taking this Xbox home. I'm like, look, he actually didn't leave it here. I'm standing. Uh, I just took it in stage five. It's... I left it somewhere in here. Why? I was gonna like bring it out on the podcast because we had it on Monday, but I didn't. All right. So it's somewhere in stage five. You don't even know where it is. Well, I don't want to leave it in achievement hunter. It'll get ruined. Someone would smash it or drop water on it or take it or hide it or something. I don't know. So I took it and didn't take it home. So I you put lost it somewhere it. else actually, in the I know, office. I know where it is. I know where it is. I haven't lost it. <laughs> anyway, I point out that even you took it home. And I'm or standing away, in your apparently. setup, yeah, or or away. Look, you've seen my desk. If I leave something nice or valuable, it gets trashed. I mean, mostly if... because of you, though. No. Yeah. Uh, no. It's a target. I, I'd, I'd say it's fifty-fifty. I'd say it's like seventy thirty. What do you mean? You're saying I smash my you. own stuff up? I. Or you? Who put a hole in my desk with an axe? I did because you said do it. You were like do it. Nobody came in and it's did your it when you were looking. You, you were permission. You were in Look. the video and you're like do it, Michael. Hit my desk. If and then you're like, content, what's my desk is ruined. There's content to be made. So it's still you. Yeah, it's, I know, but you can't have argument, it both but it's ways. Still you. you can't say, well, I'll do it if there's content. Well, I can't say do your desk or do Jeff's. You desk. can say don't hit my desk with an axe, and then I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> it sounded funny. That's how I'd say it's on you. It's still you. Well, okay, so say I'm okay with it, but it's not. I wouldn't choose to put an axe through my own desk. But no, but you, my own you choose someone else to do it. He's saying, you came up he with the idea. Sacrifice. You were like, I want to hit your desk. Me. I was like, all right then. I, it's true, I did say that. But to be fair, I said, I want to hit your desk because no one else in the office would say, okay. Only you would. <laughs> Ryan would be like, the fuck away from me. So should I, say, should I say no more? Is I mean, should... you should say no more if you don't want your shit getting fucked up. If if you think it's funny, you know, we, I mean, it's pretty funny. Everybody you just have to live with it after. Sacrifices you make for content. We do. We do. The audience certainly doesn't. They don't appreciate no. shit. They hate you. What, because I let you hit my desk? You prick. Breaking <laughs> everything you own. Yeah. How dare you? I break very little. You don't deserve it. <laughs> what did I deserve? Okay, well, my desk? everything. You say there that, but at the, the same time, you do, uh, oh yeah, yeah. 
just uh, you don't necessarily treat things just, uh, gently. Something. Like I've seen you interact with technology on your desk and just like, <laughs> no, nope. or like. He will call attention, be like, oh, watch this, I'm gonna put a disc in. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, it's like, please stop gassing. <laughs> That's why I give it a 50%. Not, not like, I know you, you attract a lot of damage to your desk, but you're not always nice to the things that you have either. It works. Yeah. For now. Well, some you, of them. You got some new stuff yep. that works now. Some things Until too. you flub it. And, don't. and then everything breaks. <laughs> a little flubbing. Anyway, we have fun. We have fun. It's a fun office. I enjoy it. I look. If you send me something, I appreciate it. It'll break. But please be aware that it is in a room full of people who have axes and swords, swords and that legs, true. and it may not last even if I want it to. It's true. That's why I take a lot of it home, honestly, because I'm protecting it. It's true, but I would argue none of those things would mean anything if you weren't in the room. You are the worst thing in the room. Like, you are the biggest wow. sword in the room. Like, we, we could have a sword okay. and an axe and whatever. If you didn't work in that room, nobody would smash it. You are the ultimate instigator. Like, Gavin like instigate. Gavin gets bored for 30 seconds and you see the twinkle in his eyes. Like, what can we blow up? <laughs> what can we smash to pieces? And everyone jumps on board because it's a great idea. But you absolutely lead that charge I feel of like fucking shit up. I just Ooh, who says, hey, oh, look, there's a hole in the ceiling. Let's smash baseballs at it. You. Because what if a bull went through the hole? But it's amazing. still you. We're, I'm we're not, not arguing it. I'm you for this. I'm this saying is, this it's is part you, of though. what makes you unique and wonderful. You have to Kevin. accept these facts. You, you know do what else? this, and that's fine. The biggest thing as well is that <laughs> I often get deliveries or like big objects show up, like a giant nose. Yeah, well, I remember right. like yesterday, you had a fucking enormous box show up in the middle of the stream. <laughs> yep. It's like we're streaming, doing face cams, and Steffi walks in with a five and a it's half like foot tall a man box, size box and just puts it behind Gavin yeah. and I'm looking in the webcam like well that's behind you now just <laughs> yeah. like, what is it? I'm like I don't know and I just picked up and moved it it's like, like you ordered a Jeremy in a box <laughs> yeah it, it would have fit Jeremy that. in but you know stuff arrives with slow-mo props and that I'm always at the office or I'm somewhere else I'm never at home so there's no point in getting stuff sent because it'll just get Put on my doorstep. Yeah, like yesterday. Yeah. You hear that, Microsoft? There's no point in sending him things. <laughs> I mean, no point in sending them to my house. Send them to the office. Like them. Yeah, um, Microsoft or anybody else, you can send whatever you want to my house. I don't care. So what was that unboxing like? Were you a bit sour? Do you think? Well, I mean, I was, nah, I was jokingly sour. I like how there's, there's a lot of people in the comments defending like, it was just first come, first serve. Like, no, no, they were specifically addressed to four That's people. the only reason I care. Also, if it was yeah. first come, first serve, let's be honest, I would have one. I'd be like, and I'll it's take true. this yeah. now and not question anything. They were all addressed specifically. See, Ryan, it was a thing. Got, it, was, got it was not so much about the not getting an Xbox as the deliberate exclusion, well, I, which I mean, that's where it hurts. I said that from the first second. Yeah. You were pretty hot about not getting an Xbox. I mean, I would love to have an Xbox, <laughs> but it's like someone from the outside, someone at Microsoft is like, what four people should we send these to? Of the six people that work in close quarters together in a specific group, which four of them? Hmm. How about the one that's never played our game? Let's send that guy one. Who's that? Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy's never played it? He's played like he played with Gears. us. He played like the Gears because uh, we made beta him. and yeah. maybe once before that. See, I, I feel like, well, I've played every single game. Yeah, as a lot. To completion. So I, I feel included? like it's not. Yeah, I played that. I love Judgment, actually. Okay. Dude, we, we have like, dude, bot. Yeah, we have like six never came plays out. in that game that never came out. Unreleased. We put out like two. Yeah, I, like, hey, fuck this. I love Gears. I mean, I didn't go all out. I didn't get like seriously achievements. I didn't really go oh, all in yeah. multiplayer, but I love the the, uh, the campaigns. Even just campaigns, fucking fantastic. I wonder how many people have all the seriously achievements. All three of them, or four of them, out right now. Oh, I was saying the. Yeah, um, it's got to be a small number. Yeah. yeah. So who else didn't deserve it? <laughs> didn't deserve it. I don't know if anybody didn't deserve it. It's not, for again, God's sake. Man. It's just the, <laughs> that big a deal. And again, it's way reading too much into it because I'm sure no one at Gears of War or Microsoft or whoever was involved in sending the Xboxes gave a shit. They, they just probably like, just like picked four names picked, out of a jar. Just, and then, yeah, like, here's four. Or they people. did. Or they did. But that's where, see, that's the thing that runs through your mind. You're like, <laughs> so did they just they look at our just, content <laughs> and they just decided that Michael and I suck? Or? Maybe they just watched like a random Let's Watch and everybody was in it but you two. Like, Gears of War, do you know? Well, I think Michael and I have been in like all of them. Well, all the Gears ones. Yeah. Like, just maybe well, no, just, uh, they, I think they, I was they not went, in like, one. They just went to the Achievement Hunter YouTube channel, picked a random video yeah. and said, these four people are in it, so these must be on the Maybe so. Right but it's just like, yeah, like, someone outside looking at our canon of work and going, <laughs> those people. These four, yes. Those two, no. All right, well, I don't want to cause some shit here. That said, 
That said, um, thanks for fucking sending four Xbox. Yeah, like, that is that's, it's very that's sweet insane. of you. I don't it, so in somebody. any way, shape, or form expect someone to send us six fucking consoles. But it's, it's just ridiculous. the fact yeah. that it was addressed to four specific people. It's like, hey, we're here too. Sending four we're, was ridiculous. We're people too. You yeah. could send four and it should said two Achievement Hunter. Fuck you, free for all. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been great. That would have been, been great. Awesome. Well, then we would have had a video where we were like, hey, let's play off for him. But no, instead it was just like, yeah, there would have been, there would have been a playoff for, yeah. for three people as I was setting mine up. I'm like, you guys play off for it. Here, here's my thing. I already have an S. Yeah. Would either of you like mine? I No, you can have it. See, I can't take it over Michael. Michael's got the tattoo. I bought the, the Gears I was gonna, If I got one, I was going to give it to Ryan. I, I felt like I would just give mine away to whoever wanted it. Oh, look. That's your tattoo. There's my tattoo. There mm -hmm. and, and no joke, actually, like, I, I was joking, I was tweeting about it, I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. But it dawned on me, I never, never thought of it, I was like, because I got that too when I was 19, and I was like, yeah, I got this on Gene. Oh my god, I'm 29! Like, <laughs> dawned on me that I got this 10 fucking years ago. Gears of War is over 10 years old. Shit! Why didn't they send it to you 10 years ago? I don't know, man. They were, they were still working on it. Working so did you get that, like, right when the first game came out? Like, when did Gears of War 1 come out? 2006, 2007? I mean, within a year of it coming out. Yeah. Before Gears 2, yeah. during Gears 1. One of my first achievement guys was in Gears. What was, was it? Gears 3? Oh. No. When was 3? Um, well, I did, I did shit in Gears... I did one three, with, I think? I showed like how to get every execution. Maybe it was three, because I'm, I did some guides in it, and it, so it had to be three that I did, so you were probably here as well, doing something. Like, remember, remember I did that one really stupid guy? This is like, first year of me working here, and I was learning how to edit and shit like that, and I did that, that one guide where, like, you get a hat, Cole gets, like, a hat or something, and it's like a stupid baseball cap you can wear the whole level, but then there's a cutscene where you go across a zip line and the hat flies off in the zip line. <laughs> yeah. And and I like at the very end of the guide, like I played it in slow motion and added dramatic music as the hat flew off, like a sad, like a sad song. I was pretty proud of that. Probably took me 17 hours to make that. <laughs> what are, what are you looking up when it came out? I'm just looking what game that was in that I made that guide. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Probably Gears 3. I wonder if we still have those Gears Judgment videos somewhere. I bet we don't. Why wouldn't we? <clears throat> I mean, God, how many, hard, how many hard drives ago was that, too? I, I wish Gears of War did better on our channel. Like, just people don't really like watching us play Gears. That's why yeah, I only sent four. That, yeah. that must be it. That yeah. must be it. So you're not doing a good enough job. No. Next year. You'll get six next time. <laughs> well, if you, you bring get, the views. Exactly. You gotta do better with four when Gears of War 4 comes out. Maybe we can see stream it. I wanna, I, I wanna fucking, we should absolutely do a couple co-op videos and then put one out, probably not the rest out because nobody will watch it, but yeah. I'm fucking excited about Gears 4, man. It comes out They're like, Friday for... Friday if you have the collector's edition. For the Tuesday ultimate. For yeah. Yeah, yeah, the ultimate, and then Tuesday uh, next week. Uh, can you buy the ultimate? I assume you can get the ultimate digital. Yeah, you can get I'm it assuming yeah. you can, yeah. Um, but you can play with the Xbox One S now, right? That, the, co the ones that it's in on? No, the, the, I don't think so. Not, you can't play with it now. It's still Friday because they just include the ultimate edition. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the but, yes. but the ultimate edition is in the yeah, so you can yeah, play yeah, it yeah, Friday yeah. if you did have it. Yes. Yeah. Um, I find it. What are you looking for? Oh, for just the, the guide? Was it Gears Two? When did Gears Three come out? Gears Three probably came out 2011. 2011. Gears Three came out 2011. It had to be Gears Three. I must have Gears Two. I did the guide. Maybe it was Gears Two when you were when you were here before you worked here full time. No, I, I, I made it in England. I remember that. Oh, okay. Well, then it was definitely not Gears Three. It was probably Gears Two because Gears Three was 2011 because I was living with Jack when Gears came out. Oh, damn. Yeah, dark times. <laughs> I'll be living with you when Gears Four comes out. I'd like yeah, to live with Jack. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Oh, You'd I, like to live with Jack? Yeah, I tried out. All right. Yeah, yeah, but nah, it's different though. He's married. Yeah. Though. Do you think it's, it's different, different with Katie there I'm now? Sure like it there's is. vegetables in the house. It's probably way better. Jack was like like 24 seven. He had like ketchup in his fridge. That's it. You know, really? He like, didn't have any food. He had nothing a to condiment. cook. Not. It was just like pure fast food diet. Pure like I eat when I'm out. I don't make anything. Maybe have eggs. That'd be it. Why eggs though? Eggs are easy. Eggs are easy to make. Scramble. Everybody yeah. can make. And they egg. last a while. And there's many different ways you can make eggs. It's true. You can make it for a lot of different things. Egg, egg is the ultimate lazy breakfast. But oh, it's, it's also easy. like... Just crack it in. When you think of breakfast, you think of eggs. It's kind of yeah. great. Do you think you I kind of want toast or something, though. With the shell on. What? I don't think so. I is bet it? there's a culture that does that. Well, I mean, I, I, I watched a video like, recently. There's a world like... Would they, they hard-boil it yeah, and then like, just bite, take a bite out no, of it? No, just an egg. Raw egg. So just, <gasps> just eat it. It's more. It's actually Rocky <laughs> Seven. He just... I mean, I could try it. I think you. I think we had to do it. Extra life. Awful. I watched a video of someone doing like 
18 or like 36 or something in a, in a few minutes. Why? Why? Just the whole leg. Just, oh, just like wow. sucking them down? Like not even chewing them? No, like smashing them up and chewing oh them Oh my down. god. This, this is, is what YouTube has done to the world. Show, now just like, that person's that would, like, like... cut your throat. I was saying, no, that's that's why it's a video. video. I love it YouTube is so much. It's like, I wonder if anyone's done that. Yep, they've done it a lot. And there's video. Now I don't have to do it myself I guess, or make anyone do it. To be fair, I, I remember college. That kind of thing still happened. It's just you didn't share it with the world. Yeah. Like, everybody still did all that crazy shit, but it was just not it was everyone saw it. It was, it was like, dude, you hear what happened? Yeah, it was like that urban was legends, it. yeah. Did you and do crazy shit ridiculous. in college? No. Hmm. I went to yeah. night school in community college, so not as well. You went to night school? Mm hmm I went to, like, continuing education courses. I was with a bunch of, Why? like... Because it was cheaper. I, I had enough credits for it. I went to community college, got enough credits. So that means you flunked just... out of my actual college. That was what you were referring to. I, that was the I why. flunked out of art school. Then I, <laughs> then I did uh, communication. Oh, what kind of art were you Why, why did you go to night school? Oh, because I could. Also, I failed regular school. <laughs> so it was that mean you can like just? I it. went to a Wait. good college for community college pay. So do you have like F level art skills that we? Have I just seen? didn't show up. Okay. I, I didn't like my teachers. I didn't like. I didn't like live. I didn't what did you want from an art school? I didn't like what did the you campus. Want to do? You I didn't like major. Like a no. What were you times, going right? there for? I was like, in a dark did you want to period, be a painter dark or time of my life. Did, were you about was. to cut an ear off? What were you trying to do? I was just uh, teachers for cunts. No, no. Why were you there? <laughs> oh, why was I there? Because I wanted to do initially, and then I was like, do what? And like. Oh, graphic design. Yeah. Graphic design. <laughs> Sorry. I, mean, I did say, like, you, you majors. You change your majors, right? You yeah, know, well, my, yeah, yeah. I, I've gone through, like, four different majors. It does okay. seem like a huge gamble. Like, you, you, if you know you want to do something, yeah. and you want to go then, somewhere like, that's, and, I guess, close, like, but then it's like, like, you could get a crap course or crap teachers. It's like, man, I, it, it sucks. It's like the first semester I was there, I loved it. Had a great time, had good friends there. Uh, second week of my second semester, I had terrible teachers. I got my roommates got changed around. Uh, one of my roommates was a Boston bomber, so that happened. Um, oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Wait, well, wait. he wasn't your roommate. No, he lived in the same building as me, though. One of the Boston bombers. Oh, was actually in your building. Yeah, he, yeah, he went to okay. UMass Dartmouth where I went. And oh, he, my God. He, he lived in one of the buildings, so I most likely shared a bathroom with him. Uh, oh. And so did, did leave you leave something in the did toilet? He, oh, yeah. I was going to say, did he leave any bombs in the, <laughs> the toilet? toilet? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and I was just like, <laughs> poop joke. I just don't want to be here anymore. So then I just like, I just like, I kind of finished and I flunked everything and I got on academic suspension. Took some more classes at my community college right next to home, and then I uh, signed up for night school at a class at a school called Curry College in Boston. Curry College. Curry College, yes. It's, it's a, a spicy. Yeah, it's a spicy college. It's Did you have a, Italian? Yeah. I don't Did know. It's a spicy now? curry. It's, it's, you uh, I figured. Yeah. I do have a degree. I have a degree in communications. I have a bachelor's degree. Cool. Oh man, you're good at talking. I'm good at talking. Yeah, yeah. you would not believe Look it listening to this go. podcast, but yeah, you, I'm good at talking. And yeah, so I went to you know a pretty good college for community college pay. Pretty good. So all my all my classmates were you know middle aged single women, and hey, nice. yeah I know yeah that's or like, were you like the stud exactly and, yeah <laughs> so like hi the Andy stud. yeah all like the single parents and mothers and shit in there and I'm I gonna like, get a degree yeah. one day in what like know. honorary you get a or it's the work. easiest one you can possibly get get a yeah, license just like, first and it's communications by maybe the way. in retirement it's easy I just want to die with a degree. Did I say that right? <laughs> Want to die with a degree? degree? I mean, yeah, that makes that was, sense. That was, that was now, do you, now is like one of those bullshit doctorates count, or do you want like a real one? No, like, like, you're great. Like, you're an, like, like think, an honorary wait, one. Wait, can you jump straight to a bullshit doctorate, or do, you, do they have to give you like an honorary bachelor? Oh, maybe first? I don't. Know. It's almost like I'm a lifetime achievement award right. as an honorary doctorate. It's like you've done enough shit to make you like prestigious enough to be a doctor, even if you haven't gone. Even though you don't know dick. Even if you haven't really gone to school for I mean, it. the truth is like a body of work put out there by some of the people that were, would receive an honorary doctorate degree is often more valuable than any curriculum that they could offer. True. So why not? All you have to do is just do better than everyone else. Can I be a doctor of slow motion? It's just, yeah, it's just, I, the word doctor is the funny part of it. You know, like, doctor. I don't think you no. get to be called doctor though, even if you get an honorary. No, doctor. I know, but it's just like, why call it that at all? I'm an honorary <laughs> doctor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do, you, what do you know? Nothing. <laughs> that would be great though for my life, let me tell you, because I live with an actual doctor, and so if I got to be an honorary doctor, I don't would, think that would be and great. She I think went to be, school for a be, long I think be, time. I think that'd be awful. A really for you. long time to be a doctor. You, I could just be like, I'm a doctor too. Dude, I, I <laughs> think she'd introduce you as like, hey, I'm Doctor and Doctor Hayward. Yeah, <laughs> so I think that would, that would be amazing. I immediately think of like Beth and Jerry from fucking uh, uh, Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, yeah. Like like your wife, your wife being the vet is almost like Beth being the horse surgeon. You're like, I'm a doctor too. No, you're not. No, you aren't. <laughs> It is weird. We have, <laughs> like you, you need help. You need like medical help. You need a doctor. 
And it's weird that that also means so much mean other anything. crap. Yeah. GP. I did, she it's does fun. have to respond though, like there's that uh, if you have a medical degree and there's an emergency situation, you are... Yep. I'm not sure, what's the right term I, here? I don't it's know. not like, like required, but like obligated. That's probably a better You better word. fucking help. Under oath or something? No, 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 almost, almost <laughs> loosely, like the fucking Seinfeld. Thing. Yeah. This is this finale of Seinfeld where like they watch a guy like to get, what, what get, mugged. get mugged or something. And they, they don't do anything. They it's do like nothing. a good Samaritan law. And then, they, then like the finale of the series is they go to jail because they, <laughs> didn't, they didn't help the guy. But I thought so, it was fine. If Larry David, if you're watching this, I like the finale. Shit, like it's so Seinfeld. It's so much more satisfying is, yes. years later. Like, what would you want? A big stupid ending? It's just like, oh, what? They go We're to going jail. to jail. <laughs> the they go to jail for like a year. Yeah, they get sentenced to a year. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a thing. I although it obviously depends vastly, like state by state or where the hell you are, mm -hmm. which is always great about. Is that America. actually a law? That's a real thing. Not, I don't know about the Seinfeld thing, but the doctor. Oh, okay. Like the yeah, Samaritan you have thing. to like, respond. If you know what, if you have like a certain if you level have the qualifications, of qualifications is, like is you're anything, required you to help. A vet doesn't know that they need to know that could just make them a doctor of humans, or is it just the same, but just a different area? Uh, like a vet well, is, yeah, no, that's very different. I mean, that's it's a very different mammal. I mean, moving from most of the pets. No, like what, what is interesting about is multiple different creatures. I was gonna say it's, yeah. like, it's like they have to they have to know more than a regular doctor because they have to know all about a dog, all about a horse, all about a cat, and they're different things. As also, opposed to just a human. Also, using the Kramer defense. In an episode of Seinfeld. That is the Kramer. Kramer. That's why it's Kramer, in my head. Kramer yeah. goes to a vet because he's caught. He's sick, and he finds <laughs> a <laughs> coughing dog. It's a human. Like the whole episode, a dog's like. <laughs> and it's a dog. I'm pretty sure it's Kramer coughing coming out the dog. So he goes to a vet, and Jerry's like, "You're going to a vet?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, Jerry. Humans treat one kind. Vets treat them all. They're they're way better." <laughs> he goes to a vet and starts taking dog pills. Yeah, <laughs> which are pretty much the same. I mean, yeah. in most cases. But yeah, I mean, it, there's a lot of things that are different. Like a grape will kill a dog, but you're fine with it. Mm. Yeah, that, that's kind of a big one. Here. That's a big one. It's grapes, 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 grapes chocolate. Should we, should we put that then? shirt out? Dogs don't like grapes. <laughs> <laughs> the next shirt. Dogs hate grapes. Dogs hate, hate grapes. grapes. <laughs> it's a frowning dog or something. Something, something like. It would be the same logo except instead of the grapes, it would just be like the no sign over. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. I would wear that shirt. That's a good. I'd wear that. <laughs> Send that to. Damn it! Damn you! What? I was right as I was doing the camera. They switched it. Yeah. They got me. They got me again. I can see when it's over there. Like it's over there right now. Now I'm going to turn to it, and then they cut over there, and they. Fuck we uh, we shouldn't talk about destiny at all because we. Did Why'd you bring it up? Thing. But I, just, yeah, I would just like to announce that my uh, my and... luck is gone, and Michael has it. Wah, 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 wah. He's like I've absorbed it. Fifteen levels higher than last time we talked about. It's true. Yeah, but you know, Iron Banner. If you're playing Destiny, I'll say this, and even if you don't play Crucible, for the love of God, play Iron Banner. You just they just they shit out equipment. It's insane. Win, lose, doesn't matter. It just really doesn't go. matter. They just shit it out. So, maybe like, I, maybe I'll play this weekend. Honestly, I can play on your Xbox. So I don't want to buy it. You sure can. Yeah. Free Destiny. <clears throat> Give me a second. Hand. I didn't realize you were ready. No, 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 I thought you were going to go straight. No, 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 I was no, getting no, no. a drink. Adults are leaving. Go get a drink. I'm ready. I'm ready. The adults are leaving. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> When was the last time you ordered clothes online and got to try them on before paying for them? Never, right? Male nudity! Uh, uh, my glasses came off. Well, that's exactly what jackthreads.com does. You can try on anything at home for free, and you only pay <laughs> for what you keep. Naked. Yeah, I know. That's a sensor yeah. bar. <laughs> Whether it's a big name brand or the Jack Threads in-house line, you can be sure you're 100% in love with the items you ordered before spending a cent. Describe your experience with Jack Threads and their new tryout program. Boy, I uh, I ordered some Jack Threads, like this shirt, right here. Super easy. The nip show through, too. You got a little nip going through the Ooh, pocket? Well, it's, I you was gotta a little, put something in the I pocket. I was a little chilly. There you go. Uh, Fix the button. You know, you, what's the button? Must well, you got like the middle oh, of the sorry, open. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just know. opened it out of the package. So you go online, you pick all the clothes you want, <clears> they send it to you, you try on whatever you want, whatever you don't like, you send it back, they don't charge you, and then whatever you keep, they're like, bing! That's what we charge you. Looking sharp. And that's it. So I got I got that hat earlier. I got this. I got a nice new pair of sneakers. Freaking nice. And all uh, pretty pretty darn affordable. Go to jackthreads.com and enter the code TOPIC when you submit your tryout for 20% off anything you keep. That's jackthreads.com, code TOPIC, to save 20% on anything you keep. Never buy before you try ever again. Jack Threads. I got myself a nice new baseball tee. Nice. Although, actually, I guess this is a long shirt. A baseball's it like is, that yeah. one. The, the uh, weird, like... 
three it's quarter sleeves. It's like three sleeve. quarter sleeves. I like them. Why is that? Well, I like it. And is I'll it for say sliding? this. I, I don't know why it's called a baseball tee, but that's one of the few shirts you can do, like long sleeve shirts you can wear in Texas because it's hot that's as fuck. I, this this is going to be warm as hell outside. Baseball tees are nice because it's like, get a little bit more. It's get a little bit more sleeve. In a, it in is a, still pretty warm. It was cool for, I think, one day. We had like two days of fall, and it now it's nice. back in the 90s. Yeah. It was 90 yesterday. Yeah. Oh. It was pretty hot walking over here. Do you like the cold? It's going to be cold yeah. in New York, I miss, though. I miss I've never lived chill. anywhere cold. I miss the chill. Miss That's the, probably why I like the it. The New England falls. The breeze is nice. The cool breeze. 60-degree weather is nice. Yes. The Austin really breeze, it still hurts. <laughs> it's still hot. But it's okay. We'll be, uh, you know, we'll be in New York tomorrow. It'll be nice and cool there. I like that it's getting it? to the point where yeah. Oh, yeah. I can take a check. phone call. It's October. Trust me. It's cold. Oh, I know. In New York? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's doesn't, warm Look, doesn't exist there. The world's getting hotter. It's, it is. It's not a good it place is. To live. I mean, like, I'd be shocked if it was 70. Maybe yeah. not shocked. All right. That's, that's an exaggeration. But it could High be 60s, low 70s. My dad, my dad lives in Maine, said so it was like in the 60s. I would expect 60s. Yeah. God, it's such good weather. Again, no, furthering, I'm so old. Like, I like buying shit from my house, and I like weather. The high today <laughs> in New York like weather. is 74 degrees. So, well, that's the it's high. That's pretty, not bad. That's the high, yeah. It's, it's currently 68. Hurricane, like, that's ravaging nice. the east. East coast, but <laughs> yeah, I think getting... it's not going to hit. Are we going uh, right into that? No, it's it's basically, I think oh, it's going to fuck Florida. Oh, okay. I think well, that's what hurricanes and do. Initially, yeah. it was like uh, New Jersey. Like South Carolina or something, too. Uh, New York, New Jersey was on the hit list, but I think it diverted or changed. By the time it usually hits New England, by the time it usually hits the northeastern area, it's it usually safe. like way Yeah, it Florida. rolls up the coast. Yeah. Get, get in the Yeah, unless we'll you get, get Sandy. in the middle room of a Unless you get house. Sandied and Irene, then fuck you. Then get out. Good, <laughs> goodbye. Evacuate. Goodbye, Jersey Shore. I got yeah, real lucky. I lived in Florida for a couple of years and. Not a that hurricane. is extremely lucky. Yeah. I know a lot of people that live there, and it's like, well, another hurricane, our house is fucked. It's like, move. <laughs> what does, Stop how does living insurance there. even work for that? Can you even get insurance? They have, like, flooding insurance and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, it's probably they have, a fucking like, the fortune. The windows blew off insurance. I'm sure, sure it's covered, covered if you, li if you live in an area where it happens I mean, often. they really only offer it, yeah, if you live in the area. It's probably just a fortune. Yeah. Because it's going to happen. And then, I guess, all the internet and power would be gone for a while, too. Mm -hmm. It's no good. No more porn. Like, print print, print it out. Yeah, you got Make magazines. Ah, what year is this? Magazines. They still exist, right? You can still buy like. I think so. If you still go to like a gas station, they usually have like. Have the... you ever bought like a porno mag? But nope. just because of like your age, like I think I bought maybe two I've in my life. I've never bought a single porno mag. I mean, I was I was eighteen in two thousand and five. I know they come in sleeves, and they usually have like a black. Like sleeve over. I mean, it. sometimes. So it's, uh, it's like at the airport. The yeah. Well, that's, shelf that's a... who buys a porno mag at the airport. Well, that's exactly it. If if you're buying it at like well, a normal store, then they hide it. I if can you buy it at like a normal shop. Same kind like, of person that will read it like this. Yes, in the I play. Know. Yeah, everybody like that? that. How I about you, kid? Look at this spread. A lot of people at the airport are about to get to a hotel. And they know what I guess they just put it in their bag and they just let me just stop for some porno real quick. It's always it's always weird too when you're watching. I don't think I could jerk off to a photo. I don't think I. I, I mean, don't think man, I could you should anymore. try and get back to it. Did us. you just skip your teenage years, or? I well, like I said, but still, like, he's, he's, he's I'm still young younger, so I where, had the internet. I mean, I got the internet slow. when I was 14. So, a man, slow, like but... Sears catalogs were great back in the day. Yeah. Dude, you know, you work Ma with what you got. Maxim, before you can buy porno mags, they're all, you know, Sports yeah. Illustrated swimsuit edition. Hello, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> I remember buying one of those when I was like 15, and the guy's like. Yeah? Here you go, kid. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, thanks, sir. <laughs> That's my favorite month of the year. Watch out for them sticky pages. Did you All swear as much when you had a high squeaky voice? Um. Because that must I have mean, sounded awesome. I don't know that I really ever had a high squeaky voice. Well, like before you went pubic. Not really. Probably not. Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Do you not as home, much now. Do you have any videos? It's worse now, no. Do you remember what your voice shit. sounded like when we you were that age? That shit. Cause no. I don't. Like I can't remember sounding. I, I mean, I, I sounded way. nothing like this because yeah. I had a huge accent too. So. Oh yeah. I sounded it was just like, like high and nasal. Hey, and fuck British. you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, even when I met Andy, like I sounded nothing like he I do yeah. now. I mean, you go, go watch like some of my old YouTube videos, and it's just, like night and day. Mm. That guy's dead. Some of it's the mic, but some of it is your accent. It's true. The, the microphone, too, it, it has kind of that RVB effect where it's like, Kr -kr -kr, so it's, it sounds different. And people are like, it don't sound like that at all. Didn't you like switch like that? Yeah, like it your crushes all the, yeah. the high dynamic range of your voice to the just like just the jersey. That was the best part, too, because every single person is like, this is some fat fuck. 
Like they <laughs> like I, people were expecting like Danny DeVito. You know, like that's who Rage Quit was. So like girl, Rage Quit. Got every person I met early on in Rooster Teeth, like coming off doing Rage Quit and working here, was like, "You look like this." Like, I thought you'd be fatter. Um, so that was fat. Like, that was that was like the the common term, fat. And they were just like, "Man, nah, you're just so mad. I figured you were fat." <laughs> okay, sure. That's where anger it is. Lives. A stereotype I guess so. I guess in the so, fat yeah. cells. I think it's just because the loud voice. Usually, like people who have bigger, like know, a bellows mass out, can boom. A I don't voice know about out. that. I I think it's kind of uh, maybe like by default. But if I'm thinking like loudest people I know, it's the complete opposite. You know, fucking loud Meg is. She's like this big. Yeah, that's true. And it's like we're playing Mario Party. It's me and Meg. Like, ah! like at the top of our lungs. Someone made a great gift. I always like attribute like fat party. people to have like soft squeaky voices. <laughs> who do? I always attribute fat people to have like soft squeaky voices. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, the, the latest Mario Party that just came out is a good one. It's a really long one. I don't think it's an hour and eighteen minutes. I don't I think. know when we filmed that. Um, like a few April? months ago. Oh, Jer yeah. Jeremy has green hair, oh, okay. so, <laughs> so that between that dates it. Between LA and Chicago, let's play live there. Wait, did he dye green for LA? Well, he was blue for Chicago, wasn't he? You know, I never. Wait, he was green the last one. No, gre no, green was his first color. Yeah. No, he's then he was. No, uh, don't say what he is. I'm now. not gonna oh, say yeah. now. I didn't. I, was, I, I didn't actually together. put it together that the hair color changes were linked to Let's Play Live. Yeah, he said that. Oh uh, yeah. That's how I linked it. He said, "This is why I'm doing it." I did. I wasn't oh, okay. part of that conversation. Yeah. So he's uh, when he runs out of colors, I think he's just gonna he's gonna cut it, cut his head off. Well, he'll really never weird. Suppose just shaving yeah, he his head, he's gonna just There's only like a six. I don't know. Then just go off. Go UV. Go infrared. Yeah, start mixing them. Yeah, there's only a couple, like three, four. Go to like six. secondary <laughs> and the tertiary colors. Just start mixing. Tertiary. That's a word, right? Compliment. Yeah, I went to art school. Good. We also put out a video that I don't remember making that came out yesterday. The game, I don't remember the name of it, where you like, kick your shoe into oh, the room. Oh, the fucking oh, yeah, 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 game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty Half sure dead. we recorded that in like. March or something. Months it's possible. Ago. When did we make it? Six that? months ago. Why did that come out? Why did it take so long for that to come out? I don't know. Look, something. We, we have like a it. vault system, kind of like Disney. Kind some of. things go in the vault and then they come out for a while, then we're going to put it back in the vault. And so I mean, people I mean, it's just it. weird. It's like usually when we wait on stuff, it's because. It's usually we if we don't have schedule. anything to release, we're like, oh, this is, we'll, we'll find this. We'll well, I mean, usually out. it's, it's just so weird. I mean, long out. story short, it's you didn't have anything e to put every out. single week we have to put this out, so bump that. We have to put this out, so bump that. Yep. I mean, how many Let's yep. Plays do we put out a week? Like, Let's Plays, five or six? We yep. film, like, fucking 15 a week, 20 yep. a week. Something's got to be old as shit at some point. Like, it's weird that, like, some things take priority. Because exactly that. It's like, we have Let's Plays that come out six months later because, you know, Let's Plays are the easiest to film. The game comes out, play the game. But then it's like, you know, find a slot for it. So, I certainly can see how that game wasn't like, we got to get this out. People are clamoring for the cube game. Yeah, that's why it's weird that it came out. It's like, what didn't we have that that had to come out? I think it's more like, what did we have when we made that? Like, we probably had other shit that was more important than that. Yeah. So it's just like, oh, now we have nothing else that needs to bump this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm there fine with that. Things, as long as yeah. shit's not, like, older than a year old, then it's a little much. But I don't give a fuck about putting out shit. That's kind of fun, because I don't remember anything about that video. All that I remember about that video was Jack was, like, jerking his gherkin about it. How excited he was. Uh, because it was the cube, and he said it 50 times beforehand and over and over again in the video. Like, it's just like the cube! And I'm like, I never saw the movie, I had no idea what the hell he was talking about. Um, and I went into that video, almost, I would say almost worms in it, like Jeff style. Like, this is gonna suck. Like, oh, really? five minutes in, I'm like, this is pretty good. <laughs> it became like an emotional drama. <laughs> I never looked so doofy. And you I, I was actually away. fucking watching it yesterday. I watched like maybe half of it yesterday, and I got to the part where we're going through. It was maybe like two thirds into the video. And I also forgot, like, the video is only about 30 minutes long, and I'm dead for, like, the last 10 minutes. Because you only have one life, and that's it. And then if everybody dies, you, you reset. Um, but essentially, the game is, you know, you start in a cube, and it's just, like, there's four rooms that you can go in, and that's it. There's four doors, which are four doors, which are four doors, and it's basically just a maze. But there's traps in each room, and you have to figure out where the exit is. That's really it. And it's just a game of, like, you, all you can do is kick your shoes off. You can kick your shoe into the room. Because there are some traps that you can just quickly avoid, and there's some where it puts up a laser grid and you're trapped in that room. Right, and then and you can't get out. You lose the shoe if you kick it in. You lose the shoe, but you stay alive. Um, so was, there's one like later near the video where we're just like, we're clearing doors, we're clearing doors, we're clearing doors, and I open a door and I kick a shoe in, and Ryan's like, why are you even clearing that? Like that's like, he's keeping track of what rooms we've already mm -hmm. been through, and he's like, well that's a useless room. And I run in to get my shoe, I'm like, yeah whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'm kind of glad how they edited this, 
because it's Ryan's perspective. <laughs> and I run through the door. He's like, why are you even going in here? You don't need to. I'm like, ah, it's fine. I run in. The door closes behind me. And as soon as the door closes, I go, I'm dead. And you hear, <laughs> and it doesn't cut from Ryan's screen. You just see me go in and the door close. And you just hear like, a human <laughs> human level of blood just hitting the floor. God. Then the door opens and there's just like blood everywhere. <laughs> and and you, your comment is you're like, oh my god, I heard you die. It was just like <laughs> I just I walked into the room, picked up my shoe, turned around, and the trap was hidden behind uh, the yeah. door that I walked through. So then as soon as I turned around, it was coming towards me. It was like Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> it, like, exploded. And right after that, it was, it's great to think of this in a real life scenario because Ryan, Ryan follows it up with, and you died for nothing. Why did you even go in there? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like it when we record something and then it's forgotten about and then it comes yeah. out. It's like, wow. How oh, many, how many times Maybe they updated it. Yeah, maybe it's maybe good more now. traps. Maybe there's like four shoots. I mean, was plus Jack and or, uh, uh, Jeff and Jeremy never played it. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. This is this is amazing not to go off that yesterday. We were I don't know if it was right before the stream, we streamed Destiny or during the stream, but at one point Jack turns to Jeff and says, Hey Jack <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Jack called Jeff Jack. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> he stopped in his tracks like what the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> Jeff was actually kicking some crap in Crucible yesterday. Dude, we were all doing pretty well. Jeff was kicking crap. For being someone who's terrible at video games, he's not bad at Destiny. He's got his games. There are some games where he... I, I don't think he's terrible at games. I think he just doesn't have good tactics. Like, for example, when a teammate <laughs> drops, he will run in and try and get you up amongst, like, seven yeah, enemies. Yeah, yeah. And then you like, will... But I would argue that makes through. him bad at video games. That's... Well, he's yeah. not great at judgment. He's tactically okay, but strategically bad. Also, um, platformers, he's a fucking idiot. Oh, you showed me last night. There's, there's no, I was showing him Mighty, Mighty Number no. 9. Oh my oh, god. That, and I was like slamming that was my a head watch. into the fucking desk watching Yeah, it. he's the one trying Jack to teach all these kids sassy. how to play bloody chick, angry, was it? Ultimate chicken. <laughs> Ultimate Ultimate chicken. Ultimate. Angry, angry chicken. <laughs> angry bloody It was Ultimate angry chicken. chicky Ultimate bird chicken. wars. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he might be the worst person. He's to, to easily teach. the worst in the office. For easily. Good luck, kids. Good luck, yeah, kids. Yeah, boy, by the way, I, let me just say, like, I'm excited. I'm, I've been watching those coming out. Like, I'm looking forward to the finale. It was, uh, it was tense. I'm not going to give any spoilers about it, but, um... Yeah, it's pretty fun watching Jeff get annoyed and have to, you know, not scream at a 10-year-old like he screams at a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really repressed. And I, mean, and, I mean, the best part about the finale, again, without, without going into it, is, I mean, like, we had nothing to do with the show. That mm -hmm. was... I mean, I, like, we didn't take part in, like, Jeff with the kids and anything like that and blah, 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 blah. Um... And uh, we just we just do our thing. Mm -hmm. We didn't have any fucking lines. <laughs> we didn't have any direction. It's like here are the kids, and we're like cool. You didn't have yeah. a script. Jeff left for a week and then came back. Came back with a bunch of kids, and we were like, all right, let's uh, let's shoot this thing. There's barely any cursing. I mean, that'll probably not be in the actual episode. But I do remember, of course, everyone looks at me. This guy first one to drop an yeah. f bomb. Well, I, don't think, I don't think I did F-bomb. It was an F or shit. Well, I don't, I don't know why we're not saying it now. I didn't say, I don't think I said fuck. I think I did say, like, damn it. Ow. It was, like, immediate. Yeah. It was like, oh, this Seriously. is bullshit. Uh. Yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I'm sure that happened 8,000 times with Jeff. I'm Je sure, Jeff I'm sure, I'm sure they, they knew. I'm sure well, they cut yeah. that out. Jeff swears constantly. I'm amazed. I've never heard Millie swear once, which is surprising because Jeff swears all the time. Yeah. Well, you know, kids are always like, I don't want to be like you. Yeah. yeah. Got a clean that's mouth. Apparently, that's not as true as it was. So. Oh. <laughs> you know, she's turning 11. Oh, okay. It's, it's coming up. The edginess is yeah, starting. Yeah, Double yeah. hockey sticks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was saying, we were having a conversation the other day about Millie turning 11. Like, it's fucking crazy how, how old she's going to be already. And, like, I remember moving here. And, obviously, you, I mean, you knew Millie since she was born, since she was a baby. And she was, like... Five, I think, when I moved here, and even at five, like she had the cognitive cognitive ability to be like, "Oh, hi, Millie, nice to meet you." Blah blah blah, blah. and like, yeah, I come back to Jeff's house a second time, like, "Oh, he's not gonna remember me." Millie's like, "Oh, hi, Michael," and I was like, "But are you like children, you, man? This are you thirty? <laughs> yeah." You know? But I remember thinking, like, "Oh, I just met Millie. Like, Millie's five years old, and I don't know You've her." You've known at her all. for more than half her life. Exactly, and I'm like, "Fuck!" Like that's wild to me. I, I watched her take her first steps. 
Aww. Away from you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was why she suddenly had to learn to walk. <laughs> she was three months old. It was incredible. <laughs> she was like, ow, ow, get away. You gotta learn the run before you can crawl. <laughs> now she has a phone. Now I can uh, text her. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff's man, he's fucked. Dude. The next two, three years of his life is yeah. gonna be I like to, uh, I like to watch people's clips. On X my, my, my friend's clips on Xbox One. It's like the one feature I love about the Xbox mm -hmm. is the when they record save something. the replays. Yeah. Game DVR. Millie is good at Overwatch. I know. She, I watch say that all the time. Yeah. It's, it's no joke. I watched a clip of her as Reaper doing the the die, 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 die. spin. Mm -hmm. The die spin. She killed every the single ultimate. person on the team. With one She's spin. Like, I would. I I was watching her like when would I use the the ult? I would use it now. She didn't. She like made sure that everyone was in sight and then timed it perfectly. Killed everyone. She just spun I've never killed the entire team in Overwatch in my life. Nope. It's tremendous. I would lose against Millie probably. Yeah, I I mm -hmm. would think she'd kick my ass. I mean, I barely played the game. I I played with her once. I played for a weekend. It was good. Nice. I played with her it's once. It's a fun game. I didn't want her. Yeah. I didn't want to be. A guy who shoots because I didn't want us to see my terrible score. He was <laughs> <laughs> so I, the jack. I was just a healer. I just walked around healing Millie the whole game. <laughs> so then I had an excuse for having no kills. I Fun game though, that Overwatch. I like the healer, the Zenyatta guy. I played as him. I, I, I guess he's not that great of a character to be, but I always picked him. He's actually pretty good if you can use him. And well. then he used like the ninja stars, whatever. Any else? Because those um, those balls, the are, they yeah. are pretty long range. Yes. They do quite long yeah. Range. I like playing as him a lot because nobody else would play the healer. I'd be like, all right. It's so gotta be like different, you know, classes. So the hardest part for me about him is just keeping line of sight with who you've got your balls on. Yeah. Because mm. you, got, you got the healing balls and you got the hurdy balls. Yeah. You yeah. gotta do the hurdy balls, the bad guys, and the healing balls, the good guys. They're blue and red. Thankfully, you can't put the wrong ball on the wrong person. It's true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> I put a lot of hurdy Ooh, balls. There's no stuff. friendly fire, exactly. I don't have the coordination for that. Apparently, they're redoing Symmetra. Like, the, it's the least used character. She put, has those little turrets she puts down all over the Which place. Which one is she? The one that puts the little <laughs> turrets down all over the place. <laughs> no, what's her name? Sorry. Symmetra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she puts down the turrets. What does she do? <laughs> yeah, and she's. Uh, it's the. I the thought the least troll man character. did that. The troll man. Well, he puts down the one turret. Okay. Torbjorn. Uh, Torbjorn. Tor Torbjorn. Tor Tor Troll man. <laughs> Troll man. Troll, you know. Symmetric, you can put down like a whole bunch of those little ones. Of those, yeah, but they have to concentrate fire to really do anything. Uh, but yeah, like, yeah nobody sure. it. And know. her ult is just making a portal. That's pretty cool. It's then. useful. It's handy as not. But only on like the first half of the game. Mm. And once it gets closer, it's like, yeah, just walk. So, yeah, that, that might actually get Is that the roller skating guy still have that mode out? Is that still a thing? The what thing? The roller skating guy? Yeah. Is that, does he still have his own mode? The, like the Rocket League-like mode? The ro oh, no, no, no. What You're the hell talking about called? Lucio Ball. Lucio That's Ball. it. No. Yeah, 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 is that still yeah. a thing? Was, was, cool. that like a, was that like a limited thing? I think so. Okay. Right? right? That was he was limited. limited, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's not a thing. Did you play in that? Or no? Lucio Ball? We did a, we did a Let's Play in it. It's like It was like Rocket League in Overwatch. It's only 3v3. Yeah, yeah it was that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not as good as Rocket League, but I mean, yeah. for a game within a game, it was pretty fucking fun. It was very Halo, you know, things to do style. Which is awesome for the developer to just make. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, here it is. Play the game. Like I've been loving our Halo things to do recently. Dude, they're fun. Halo 5 is nuts. Halo 5 is insane. I would never have thought I would play more custom, like, Forge game types than just regular multiplayer. But I absolutely do. Fun. Speed Halo the other day. That was top. Just floating down in rates. There's some really good game types in there. Even that Zombies thing we just did. Whatever the mm -hmm. hell it was called. I don't even think that came out yet. Um, the, with the Warthog and shit. That Outbreak was cool. City. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. fucking... City. It's cool, man. Do you think... Halo is really a flagship title for Microsoft anymore. Uh, I mean, it's still a big deal when one comes out. It is. It's still yeah, I, I don't, know that, I don't right. know that it like permeates when it's not. There's a, not a new title coming out. Like I don't know yeah. that in this day and age, if you ask someone what's the flagship franchise for Xbox, I don't know that Halo would be the answer. What would it be now? I don't know that anything. Or is it or Gears? Maybe you no, know Gears has no. its own fuck tab. No. Like it has like. Whatever yeah. store. Well, Forest is on the box. Thingy, Gears of War 4. Yeah, but I'm pretty saying pretty well, you, you go up to releases. some person yeah. on the street and you're like, what's the game you associate That's Xbox with? with? Microsoft Fucking Studios. Forza would not be it. Like, yeah, I, I don't know that I can say one bigger than Halo, but I just feel like Halo wouldn't be the answer with kids nowadays of like, I don't know, mm. the prime demographic of like teenagers or something. But yeah. I, I wonder if it. I wonder if it hurt or helped them that they made Halo 5 a T rated game. I don't think it really had much effect. I don't think it really I just think the game wasn't that great. Yeah, they usually like, like the story was like I don't really play multiplayer a lot, so I I played it with the story and I'm very disappointed. Not great. 
Do you remember it? Yeah, that's why I was just like... Hey, you play as lock for a lot of four, them. Four and five were forgettable. Were I liked right, four yeah. a lot better than five. You play as lock for like 12 missions, and you play as Master Chief for three. I, I was never that's like stupid. huge, huge into the storyline I just was pissed because they kind of lied in the marketing. The marketing oh, well, was like, like, Master Chief was like like running from the law, blah, 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 yeah, blah. It's he was like, it, Master Chief was a bad guy. To be fair, like, Halo's always done that. Like, I remember Halo 3. I remember being so fucking bummed with Halo 3. All of the ad uh, campaigns for Halo 3 was like, Master Chief's gonna fucking die in a huge climactic battle. Like, remember that, that what sticks with the like, most is that oh, commercial yeah. they had? The action that huge fucking yeah. diorama they yeah. had, diorama, where it was like, it was like a giant fucking thing that they made, and it was like, it was like epic music, and it had like the camera like panning over everything, and there's just like waves of grunts and elites and everyone fighting, and there's like, People getting blown up and shit, and it all like zoomed in to like uh, I think it was like a, a chief. It was a it was a chieftain holding mm -hmm. Master Chief like mm -hmm. by his throat, and Master Chief like had a grenade in his he, hand. Yeah, he, he and it was like Pew! like it was primed, and yeah. it was it was the, the old it, it, it was the old dude telling the story, yeah. right? It was it was like a guy who was in the war, and he was like telling his grandkids, and he's like it was a battle that day, da da da, and it's like epic as fuck, and it's so awesome. None of that's in the game. Has nothing to do with the games. Nothing like that ever happened. It's true. I was like, oh, come on! Like I was hoping that would be the end of the game. Like that's so this fucking awesome cool. Fight, yeah. It's so awesome. It's like a Lord of the Rings fight. This was one of my favorite ads I've ever seen for a game, and that having it completely non-existent in the game just fucking killed it for me. Like I thought we were gonna get something like this. Like I said, even just watching the footage we're showing, mm -hmm. I know there's narration over it, and it's super. It's it's like. Super it's dramatic. like World War Two esque shit of like yes. a guy a guy telling his grandson yeah. or something. I think that's this commercial. Yes, no, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was just cool as shit. That whole campaign was great. Yeah, yeah, Halo, we really lost. Halo it. Three was an epic game though. It was. Yeah, but it didn't have an epic ending to me. Like, it just sort of ended. It didn't feel like a. It, it ended, still felt it like. It blew up all the. They fired off the Halo. Yeah, but it's just like there was the, to it's me like, there was there was never this hard. moment of like oh it was just like okay I beat it it was just like every other game to me I and thought it was cool to finally because like <clears> Halo is right there yeah. Halo the one the, the the ring begins to fire and they stop it at the last second yeah so it's cool to see one actually go off yeah and see the devastation you know I mean they could have done that scene and then set the ring off I would have been fine with that I think, yeah maybe it just you couldn't you just literally couldn't get that many con pe people on console in this yeah it was probably like, just a technical like limitation, limitation where it's like we just can't do it I, which is too bad though because I that believe been it amazing. it's just like that, you, you hype me up so much more. now for Halo 6 they'll do it now <laughs> yeah <laughs> Halo 6 they'll have well look at Halo like, Wars 2 is gonna be next right yeah Halo Wars 2 yes but that's the not biggest issue for me with Halo 4 and 5 is that I just don't really like fighting the foreigners they're I don't not, like their enemies. Fun to, yeah, I don't like the enemies. I, I did like the, good. I did like the Cortana story in Halo Four. I liked that a lot. I like it was personal, kind of like a short, like a more kind of like a contained story. And Halo Five kind of just like, like ruined that. But playing back through Halo One, Master Chief is rude. Yeah, he just ignores everyone. He's just oh, he's very kind of a spy, he's though. Very, he's because a very reserved individual. His actions speak louder than his words. Yeah, he's like a he's like a and almost he he's almost like a good actions. Terminator. Yeah, there's a he's more of like a robot. Than he's a very game. chatty in the later games, and yes. he's always been chatty with Cortana. He's like talking to Cortana yeah, in his Cortana. own head. Yeah, in Halo One, there's one bit in Halo One where uh, level five, you leave her in the in the control room, mm -hmm. and you do level six and seven without her, and people are talking to Chief like Echo Four Nineteen. What Fohammer is like, Chief, I can't hear you, Chief! Because you go underground, he doesn't say anything, he's just Fuck like... Fuck you. <laughs> bitch, bitch. <laughs> he knows, he's like, yeah. bitch can't hear me. So he just doesn't <laughs> speak to anyone, it's really weird. It's like, why didn't they have dialogue with other people? Because he's chatty as knobs in the later ones. I want to go back and play Halo 1 now. Halo is so good. I, go I play Halo the Master Chief Collection more than I play Halo 5. Yeah, I'm going to play Halo 1 again. I think I'm going to play it tonight. It'll be fun. No, you won't. I know I won't. I'll get home and I'll be like, I'm like, nah. It's one of those things. I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll just, I'll, this. I'll, I'll just put on Netflix and open up. He'll, he'll go home, put on Netflix, and or like play Battle cook or some something. fucking egg whites. That's what he'll do. Cook like, <laughs> egg whites. Yeah, I'm dieting. So oh. yeah, it's uh, not great working in this office. Oh, being on a diet. Lately, it's been Austin, bad. Yeah, in, in Austin, general. Yeah. But I've been making egg whites. I'm gonna get some turkey chili later today. Maybe some fucking brown rice. And damn, dude, I'm curse about it. Dude, I have so much of my gamer score is from the Master Chief Collection. Well, I mean, it's got much, like 5,000, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever 100% it? No. Mike Croon did. Is it even yeah, possible? Well, I guess yeah, someone bollocks. did, but... Dude, those lasso achievements are... Yeah, way, my, way I mean, Mike hard. did perfect them, but he like cheesed it. Yeah, you can load in on the last checkpoint of the lasso. Still did it, though. I got up to level 3 of Halo 1 lasso, and I just can't do it. It's hard. With Dan. Truth and reconciliation. Oh, Dan yeah. sucks. We'll do it. When you get beamed up into the ship, you... You can't go anywhere for a while. You get ambushed over and over mm -hmm. again by elites, and they're so hard to kill. Does they throw it, grenades. Does any Halo game have a point where it's just unlimited enemies? You have to push through it, or no? I don't think so. Because uh, yeah, I hate uh, that in video or games. May, maybe in, in, um, in keys. No, what's the level where you go and get keys? Truth, truth, reconciliation. I think there's 
when you come back I mean, that's when in, he's, yeah. in keys, there's infinite flood at some point. Okay. When when you find him as the blob. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, okay. The flood push through. Shit, though, so that's yeah. proto grave mine, dude. Lasso. Though. Unless you have the, if you have the well, shot, you have to punch to get your shield back. Yeah. It's nightmare. I remember remember playing lasso and laser team. Yeah, it was difficult. We uh we didn't have the best internet. Gather and I were playing. We brought our games consoles and had them in our trailers next to each other, and we had. I think I had that thing from Jack, that fucking mm. Wi-Fi thing that we had. Oh, the paying little, the yeah. service, the little box. Which I don't know that we ever canceled. No, I think he did. I think he did. He brought it up really? like, okay. like he brought it up like post Laser Team because he's like, oh, I don't know what happened to that thing. I'm like, I had it. I used it on Laser yeah. Team because we got it for the office, and then it was like, oh, this sucks. Because our internet like, was well, it was still better than our shitty internet. But, but then we got better internet like <clears throat> a month after that. So yeah. it's like, well, this is worthless. Um, motherfucking Halo. Probably, I don't know, two, three times, Gavin and I were playing Lasso, like, fucking hours to beat one level, you know? And we'd get... And Lasso is incredibly difficult because your shields don't recharge without punching, and every bullet you fire takes two bullets, so, like, you can only fire the sniper twice. Or the so, it, Lasso stands before. for what? Legendary... All Legendary skulls All Skulls on. Yeah, there we go. And this Lasso, which is so a Legendary All Skulls. Fuck that. <laughs> but we There's would no play, choice, and uh, we'd be playing for like an hour and a half, and then one of us would get dropped, and that's it. You'd start the whole level over again. It wouldn't like save checkpoints. There's no, or there's no checkpoint saving in co-op. So it's like, all right, oh. that's uh, fucking insane. Yeah, that's absolute insanity. And the it takes you two is, hours or more to beat a level. The, new, the annoying thing is, is that it doesn't just drop you; it does a countdown of like 15 seconds. Oh, oh yeah, which, like, which you have a chance to reconnect. No, no, no! And then it would like reconnect at seven. It's like. Oh, and then you get a new 50 seconds. I think, seconds I think what did we beat? One level? Two levels? Maybe two? We, uh, yeah, maybe we, beat, we, we beat the first two. And I, I did the same with Dan. Dan was in my living room, so we had like nice internet, wired. Uh, I think Dan was on Wi Fi actually, which is why the following happened. Um, Meg walked over to the microwave and started microwaving. And it was it gave oh, us the countdown no. 50 seconds. We were like, what's happening? What's happening? <gasps> Turn off the microwave! <laughs> and then she turned it off and it instantly like cut back in. Fuck. Because the, oh the microwave messes with Wi Fi. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, and because is your is your modem in the microwave? No. Interesting. It's it's on my the far side. Is that a common <laughs> is that a common thing? I didn't know the microwave could interfere. Well, I mean, I don't unless know. it's I mean, between it's the two of them, you would think it would not. It was be like an issue. TV was here, yeah. Dan's games was here, the microwave was right here. That's so weird. Yeah, like you just, probably should replace that microwave. I don't have any. We blew okay, it up. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Good. <laughs> they blew it up. They blew it up. What do you want them to do? They blew it up. To be fair, it sounded like it was trying to kill it. Because that uh, shouldn't be leaking that much. Well, they're trying to kill him in Halo. They're trying to disconnect the game. There you go. That is killing him. Do a lasso level the, all over again? Yeah, I think microwaves are, are known for messing with Wi-Fi though. Just even if they're pretty good microwaves. Mm. Not my microwaves. I love my microwaves. Guys, you don't need to choose between price and quality to get an amazing and affordable shave, Gavin. You might want to listen, you bum. Mm. Look at you. DollarShaveClub.com's got the answer. To prove how amazing their shave really is, right now they're going to give you your first month free to join the club. DollarShaveClub.com delivers amazing razors right to my door for a third of the price of what the greedy razor corporations charge. I get a first class shave when I use the executive blade, and when I use it with their Dr. Carver shave butter, the blade just gently glides for the smoothest shave ever. Here's your chance to see why over 3 million members like me love the Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is so confident in the quality of all of their products. Now you can get the first month of the club for free. Just pay shipping. After that, it's just a few bucks a month. No long-term commitment, no hidden fees. There's no reason not to do it. Get yours at dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic. Now, uh, you um, might be surprised to learn this fact, but I really don't have the thickest of beards. But I still shave every couple of days because I look like an asshole if I don't. Because then it's like I get like the 13 year old fuzzy. Why don't you just fuzz see what or whatever? Like for a month. Or because it would be awful. No shaving. I, I know, I know, what, it, I know what it looks like for a, in a week and a half, and it's terrible. So I still have to shave. Um, I got a little box for the Dollar Shave Club. Excellent razor. And honestly, for me, more so than that, it's all like the amazing creams that it comes with. You get like shave butter, there's aftershave. Comes there's with all those good smells. Lovely smelling body soap that I, I mean, like, I might not have the thickest of beards, but I got a body. You know, <laughs> I move around, you know, I perspire, so, uh, Barely. a little bit. I perspire, I don't really stink that much, mm. but, uh, I like it. I've used it. Mm. You should check it out. What about your knob? What do you mean? What about it? If you get, like, a pongy knob. I mean, do you, I'm, like, do you not wash your knob? What do you mean? No, I mean, I do. You gotta, I mean, that's, like, involved in the clean, shower. Man. It's not, like, a separate thing. I don't, like, take a shower and then wash my knob, if that's what you're asking. You have to do, like, extra I'm knob kind of confused. What are you... Asking. Yeah, you gotta pull it back and get in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He knows. Mm -hmm. 
It's a whole, it's a two-step process. You know, been snipped off. No, I've been snipped off, no, but I mean, you still got a little bit. I'm saying you have you to pull it back nothing. to clean it, but I'm saying there's nothing like about it. Exactly. Yeah. Everything else, you got to pull it back and get... <laughs> and then... <laughs> it's a whole system. It's all... <laughs> yeah, we just have a special brush. Yeah. You don't have to... No. Like a pipe special cleaner. brush. <laughs> like, a, like, a mustache, like a mustache. Yeah, like, like a mustache like comb. Like a tiny broom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a bell end broom. Do That's it. That's going to be... That's gonna be the thing that I make. Okay. Invention. You shouldn't have said it wow. on the podcast. What a legacy. Well, you have a day to make it. So. It's true. It's true. Um, Pre-order now. Nothing to do with Bellens. Well, maybe we'll see a Bellin in it. Uh, Andy, I know you have. Has anybody else watched uh, Westworld? No. New uh, new HBO show coming out. So, so everybody's like, freaking out about it. I heard it from him and like 30 other people so many good. times. It already hit like almost the jack level of someone going on and on and on and on and on about something episode? that yeah. I fucking hate it and I'll never watch it. Like that's why I didn't watch Breaking Bad for almost two years because Jack's like, like nonstop <laughs> every day. Like let me explain every, every step of the entire episode. <laughs> so I just don't want to watch it. So I said, "Fuck it! I'll take the plunge and I'll watch it now." It's fucking fantastic. Did you it's watch so it? Good. So I watched like, it last night. Oh, I was I was gonna see if you wanted to watch it, but I fell asleep. Machine. Mm, it's it's people and, Andy thing. called it perfect. I mean, it's Jurassic Park meets the Wild West. Mm -hmm. It's literally it's like they make they make a Wild West world instead of Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. ah. So it's like every inhabitant there is like a robot or like a synthetic cyborg, uh -huh. and people basically pay shitloads of money to go there. And then, isn't it, why the do they need to make them? I know it's it's based off of a nineteen. Well, because because you can do whatever the fuck you want. World. Oh, so you can kill people. You kill people. You like you want to be the sheriff. You want to be the good guy. People show up, and it's all like super hyper realistic. But then almost like in an animatronic way, they're like, "You sir, do you want to catch this villain?" And they're all like tourists. And they're like, "No, oh, sure, I'll do it." And like people can't be hurt. It's impossible. Yeah. Like the cyborgs can't, can't hurt, hurt the people, but people can like they can fuck them. They can kill them. They can be evil. Ed Harris is in it, and he's fucked up. Yes, it's it's good. It's good. I don't want to like go like, on like into Truman it, but... Show fucked up. It's like... pretty Truman Show esque. Okay. Like like where where like where they well, don't yeah, know, they, they don't know they obviously. don't know that they're not real. But they're like hyper. Oh, so they're they're sentient. Yeah 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 <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. But they're 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 sentient with like programming, like they're mm -hmm. they're normal, they're really human, and blah 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 blah. Well, I don't know why I don't want to kill that guy. It's weird. But <laughs> don't but fail they, it today. See, but they don't think that far. Yeah. Like they don't. It's clear, like in their code, where like shit happens in front of them, and they're like, like they're scripted, and they're just they like, go off. A I didn't see anything at all. Like like real world stuff doesn't affect them. Kind Have you of. Have seen the movie? The but original it, movie. I didn't know. But like, yeah. not to spoil it, but like the intro plot is like shit's going down, and they're like, yeah. starting to break. And basically, um. Fucking Anthony Hopkins it's plays John Hammond. John Hammond from Jurassic Park, so it's it's good. All right. Well, and it's based right. off the yeah. book by the guy who wrote Jurassic Park. Park. It's true. Yeah, it's the same yeah. author. And uh... you mean Michael Crichton? Yep. yep. That's a, yeah. I think he wrote, wrote, wrote Westworld. And he wrote so the movie. So there's Adaptation there's a the bunch of boobies in it, and I assume there'll be well, penis HBO. penises. There's some. Big. There's some. Dicks. Well, and it's because they're just like they're cyborgs. So like when they cut to present day, like the factory and yep. shit, it's just like people standing around. They're like naked as fuck, but the acting is fucking cool yeah. where it's like there's people talking blah 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 and then they'll say something like whatever like a mm -hmm. like a phrase you know and they'll be like you're tired now and they'll just be like and they just freeze and then they'll be like you know something something mm -hmm. go to sleep and they're like and they'll like go back to where they're like mm -hmm. supposed to mm -hmm. rest it's fucking cool i'm gonna watch it tonight yeah very very good show it's like a 75 minute pilot God, it's so good it's good does it have it. a cool intro like game of thrones it does have a good intro yeah it's pretty cool it's a good show Check it out. You guys watched Luke Cage at all yet? I have. I have not. But I also haven't seen Jessica Jones, and I haven't actually seen the second season of Daredevil yet either. So I I'm, haven't watched I'm the whole second season of Daredevil. I did watch Jessica Jones, which is good. Uh, my only problem so far with Luke Cage, and I'm only two episodes in, is that again, it's oh suffers. God, it empty. It's empty. Suffers from the same issue as all the other ones on Netflix. It's like, oh, we can do, we'll run as long as we want, so why edit? So, Too oh, long? Oh, it's like, oh, that scene's there? Why? Filler? Yeah. yeah. Is there one time where it just cuts to a guy just playing the piano? That's that's you know what that is too. Like HBO is great for that. That's yeah. Game of Thrones. They get away with a little more. I don't know because it's such like a period piece. I guess it's more interesting. But the to me, the fucking Sopranos, man. Oh, like yeah. it's like oh, we got twenty minutes for this episode. Make it an hour. Yeah, you know, yeah. like oh, Just drag it out. Like like. Like, it was genius to kill time. We want to show you all of New Jersey. The Inception in season one to be like, well, Tony's fucked up and he'll uh, I don't know, he'll have like weird dreams and shit. It's like cool, great. Does he dream about fucking his therapist? That's yeah, so it's like there's like there's like twelve minute scenes where he's like in his backyard in his robe, and there's like something weird in the pool, and he's like looking around and shit, and it's all like 
oh, there's a deeper meaning. I'm watching a fucking mob show, all right? I want to yeah. see people get shot. Go whack I want somebody. people to be like, oh! And then they, they eat a bunch of food. <laughs> you know, they're eating gabagool. The word gabagool is used, like, every episode in that show. Tony Soprano constantly is a big fat fuck. He just opens the fridge and just starts eating uh, cold meat, <laughs> like, just deli meat mm -hmm. stuff in his face. That's why I watched that show. What did that guy die of again? <sighs> deli I'm meat. not sure. He died like I mean, it was a heart thing, right? It, yeah, he died yeah. like not in America. Like, he yeah. died on vacation or something. Oh, um, really? God, what is his name? God, James Gandolfini. Yeah, there you go, Gandolfini. He was fucking great. He was a great actor. He was. I only, I only saw a few of the movies he did besides Sopranos, but he was he was good. That sucks. I will you know, say a little filler. Gilmore Girls. Oh God, right yeah. guys? Yeah, oh, I mean that's totally so probably like ninety five percent of the show. Yeah, I mean they could have crammed like a twenty four episode season into like. Six. What, yeah. What do they fill it with? Just, just like pointless conversations about. Nothing. I thought that whole show See, was. Just the whole show is. Yeah. It, 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 it's it's just yeah, but that's, that's what's annoying is that occasionally something will happen. It's like. Ooh. Oh. So you. But you I had like to wait plot. seven episodes of nothing. So you need like a Gilmore G Girls abridged. Yeah. 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 I always used to have a thing where I would I would do something with one each of my siblings that we like that would be our thing. So that was my thing I did with my sister. So I'd your never sister, your sister, sister, you watch Gilmore Girls, and your yeah. brother, you wore his clothes. So well, that was when everything? He was, after he was done. While watching <laughs> Gilmore Girls. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if the roles were reversed. <laughs> was your sister off? I'm like, this is great, George. Oh, never mind, I forgot. <laughs> I, he gave you that shirt now. Well, that's like the known thing is that I had one hand me up. He <laughs> broke my bike, so I took his. That was the hand me up. <laughs> it starts with the bike, and you know, who knows from there. Mm. Um, that's why I love Vampire Diaries so much, which again is like a... You know, a different show, but I put it on level of like crap team honest. shit, like Gilmore Girls, because the whole show is nonsense filler. It's like that's the fun part of it. It's all oh, crap. that's what you like about it. It's all just like, ooh, this makes no sense. Like that would always piss me off about <laughs> True Blood. Like I would want it to get it would get good, and yeah. then it would just be like six exactly. Episodes of and then bullshit. True Blood would like pull it back. And again, HBO is known for that. Oh my god, fucking True Detective season two. Oh, oh. terrible. That was not a good show. Like season one was fantastic, and then like I don't know if there were different writers or whatever, but it's like it's like they showed season. Season one to someone, they're like, yeah, yeah, make it like this, and and someone took that as, oh, I'll do the thing, and I'll have I'll have Vince Vaughn plays all the annoying Tony Soprano parts. Like Vince Vaughn is worthless in season two. Yep. All of his dialogue is like robotic, non-human speech. Like I'll show you how many seventeen-syllable words I can he use. He plays the Matthew McConaughey, and it's like, what, what? It just doesn't play at all. His character is pointless. The ending sucks. That whole season sucked. What an awful. I had fucking one good show. episode, and it was like a big shootout, like a twenty-minute-long shootout. It was like that halfway was through the season that when that good. guy got shot in the head. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. Oh, what? Yeah. Spoiler. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was a guy, off. and he died. Um, it's not really relevant anymore, but I'm watching Hannibal right now. I'm on season three. Did they get canceled? Yeah, it was okay. the first Did they get canceled season. or did it just end it? Got canceled. Oh, did they wrap it up though? Uh, from or what no. I hear, they, I haven't finished it. I'm like halfway through season three, which is the third and final season. But fucking fantastic show. One only gripe is there's so many like dream sequences and it's kind of just like trippy. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's real and what's not until like they tell you. I hate dream like, sequences ugh. in you movies, would not like in Hannibal. TV, and games. You would games. not like Hannibal then because it's all like fucking fantasy and dream sequences and shit. And like him like. Pretending like like uh, imagining he's seeing shit that's not really there. It's going kind of going crazy. It's a very trippy show. I Fucking remember, amazing. I remember loving but. Max Payne as a game because slow mo. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, the original then, one. Yeah, okay. and then it, you would have like these really weird like trippy dream sequences in the house where you follow like blood trails and you're jumping around. I was like, it made me want to put the game down every time I got to it. I'd be like, I'd, I'd play all these amazing levels and then you get to that, I'd be like, I guess. I'll Pick this up again in a week when I'm. When he does like when he does, when he does like those stupid monologues and he just like. I, I was okay oh, with the like monologues. It, it was it, cool. It was it, like it, graphic it, novel, but it, but yeah. when you had to play inside the dream and all you had to do was like, you know, Walk. find find your dead baby at the end of the end of the level. It's like I wish there was a skill level. Max Payne three was a fucking chore. I'll be honest. Like it, I, I like I like the monologues. It felt nothing like a Max. It Payne. felt nothing like Max Payne. Um, but you did enjoy the his neck rolls. Back of his head. <laughs> a little uh, older. It was just video. like they took a game that someone made and then were like, oh, we'll just, this will be Max Payne. Why do they shoot? It doesn't look like Max Payne. He, yeah, it's part of the plot. Or yeah. Something. And then he wears a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Starts in Hoboken. Yeah. Yeah. Max Payne 1 and 2 are very similar to each other. Oh, yeah. Well, they got to mix it up. GTA um, 1 and 2 are very yeah, different. Yeah, 1 came GTA out and was a pretty big success. But I so mean, I like, pretty quick. Max Payne also kind of follows the Resident Evil approach of you can kind of check everything. Where Resident Evil would be like, there's a bookshelf. There's a painting, whatever, and there's always like one line of dialogue, meaningless, and it's also text. They don't say anything. <laughs> and it'll be like, 
Oh, an old pa family portrait. Something, something, something. You know, a book, a bookshelf. Not much use here. Filled with books. Nothing I can use. <laughs> Fucking Max Payne. You like pick up a cup and he has a forty-five second monologue about it. I remember when I drank some yeah. in this cup. It's like I remember Max Payne three. I'm being like, oh my god, all right, you enough. Like to Holy the fucking he, shit. He plays the Max he Payne. He just theme. talks like, and talks and talks yeah. and talks. It's one of the few games where, because I used to like free the camera all the time and like debug the crap out of that game. Mm -hmm. Every bullet you fire is a bullet. It's not just like a line or like an like impact. It, like it's like a like... tiny bullet at the front of every. Because cool. I guess it was it important. Was, for yeah. the very, very to see the detailed bullet. game. Yeah, very especially good. the early ones for like the time that it came out. Yeah, Max Payne One was. I don't know. It must have been like fourteen when that came out. Mm -hmm. But it didn't have Ragdoll. The second one had Ragdoll, and that was my favorite. I will say the third one, game story aside, great for fucking Ragdoll. Um, I made a few. Did you make videos on that as well? Things to do? Which? Max Payne 3? Max Payne 3. Remember I made a few of them with like playing with the dead bodies and shit? Was I remember you did one where back? you were trying to like dive into a chair. I was, I was diving and it was about uh, maxing and relaxing. That was the, <laughs> thing, no, that was the yeah, things yeah. to do. Whereas like because he had the dramatic like uh, bullet time dodge. You just like angle yourself into And I would chair. angle him, him like into sofas and shit. I remember, I remember the, the finale on that was there was a yacht and I positioned like a, uh, a chair or something. On the first floor, like of the deck, and I went up to the second floor and I jumped off backwards onto it, like from the second floor. Um, oh no, I think I'm thinking of was it was it Hitman? Which one was it where you lined up all the guys on the couch? Was that Hitman? That was Hitman. Okay, that was, that was I guess that's what, that's what I was thinking. Absolution, where I was flopping them over the yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I remember like I guess I did I did like two or three Max Payne videos in the vein of shit like that. I don't think I did any things to do, but I was in that one one of those really early Let's Plays where it was the six of us. <laughs> Oh, the Max Payne three. Yeah, we did that. Had color, that had multiplayer. I forgot about that. That was just like super generic. I remember in the Max and Relaxing video, my nemesis in that video was there was a plastic yard chair that he couldn't sit in because it wasn't like he couldn't like physically sit. He could lay down. Mm. So like a bench or like a pool chair, a lounge chair, anything like that. It was just a plastic chair, mm. and I dove him into it like five hundred <laughs> times, like trying just trying to get in that chair. I think we should do more things to do instead of just. Stuff we come up with a single player. Hey, do it. Random games. Like you did a you did front flip for style in GTA Five. That was a good one. I did. I did. That was in the single player because you can't. Yeah, you can't dive. You can't. You can't, you can't do the dive do that in you know. multiplayer. Yeah. I assume because. God. And the amazing part about that is again going back to like shit you just do and you just get lucky sometimes. The end of that video, the front flip for style. If you recall, I climb up on top of a billboard. And I do a front flip onto a car below, and the fucking car explodes. And I was like, oh my god! Like, as I was filming it. And I don't remember who I did the video with. I think Jeff. I did Jeff for the commentary, but I remember sitting next to you when you were making it. I was like, and you were like, Jesus <gasps> Christ! I was like, it wasn't a live I'm just a man! <laughs> and the car just exploded. What an ending. Such a great ending. Yeah. I love when shit just works out like that. Good times. Good mm -hmm. times. Good times. Speaking of good times, right? I'll throw this out. I didn't want to mention it too early. Because mm -hmm. people, people, you know, they get wrapped up in stuff when you tell them it too early, and then and then it sucks by the time it comes out. It comes out. You didn't do everything exactly I wanted you to do the way I wanted you to do it. So why did you tell me about it? But as of airing this, it's what October seventh? Is that Friday? Seventh? Eighth? Uh, seventh? Friday is seventh. Seventh. Yeah. Okay. So as of today, so it's Halloween month. <coughs> you know, October. And we're gonna be trying to do. Uh, Couple Halloween videos for Achievement Hunter. I know there's some stuff some spooky that's shit. coming out. New Five Nights is coming out if it's not out already. Um, the sister location. Video. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Outlast 2 demo just came out. We're going to play that. But if you recall, Gavin and I did a Play Pals in the original Outlast. Shit, dude. It was like end of 2013 or early 2014. Like, I think it was 2014. It was like over two and a half years ago now at this point. Mm. Um, so we did a Play Pals. We played, I don't know, a little bit of the opening of the game. I think it's like a 10 minute video, but I've never played the game since, ever, and you've never played it. So we're playing all of Outlast, the entire game, just you and I, start like Let's Watch style. It's gonna be a Let's Watch, not a Play Palace, because there'll there be multiple is. parts. But um, yeah, so uh, we, we're five parts in. We've filmed five already. I'm always so excited to play it, because it's like, it's fun. It's fun to go in the other room and just like, do a, do a whole series of videos. But when, as soon as we hit record and we're in a scary bit, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's terrifying. It's, uh, it's been interesting being on the other side of the wall and just hearing, ah! 
<laughs> oh yeah, in the support room you can hear them. I don't, I don't think we've had a single part where I didn't shit my pants. No, well that's great right there too. I'm glad they showed that clip because that was Play Pals where we hit that room with the swinging guy. So probably in an annoying fashion a little bit for the people who watch Play Pals. We reference Play Pals a bunch in part one. Like, did we get this far? Did we do this already? Because again, we don't really remember it at all. It's been so long. One of the things you say is, I specifically remember we open a door and there's a guy hanging and he's swinging. Like, I remember that. And that's the clip they just showed. We got to there in our Let's Watch. I opened the door and you freaked out. You're like, ah! I, I thought like, you freaked out. And I was like, no, you did as uh, well. Okay. I'm pretty sure you did. I freaked out a bunch as well. But I, I want to say you specifically called it and, then, oh, and then screamed at it. Yeah, that was that scared me. And I was like, at some point, one of these guys is going to be alive. And then we walk up to him and he goes like, Ugh, and you're like, Ugh! it's, <laughs> it's, it's almost like, no, the guy hanging from the ceiling. It's oh, okay. so, oh, the, no, it was the guy, it was the guy that was spiked. It was on the spike. It was yeah, the guy on the like... spike. You said it and I walked up to him and he moved and I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so funny that you can be scared fun. by the same crap. Doesn't matter. Apart. Doesn't matter, man. Even if you know it's coming or whatever. Like, I guess if you beat the game and you've played it several times, that's different to be desensitized by it. But we're also playing like assholes. We're playing on nightmare difficulty, which is the second from the hardest. So the whole game, you you can't fight. You can't do anything. All you can do is you run. You just run and you get You run changed. and you hide and you it's you awful. have you have a video camera, which oddly enough doesn't drain battery at all when it's on. But when you turn the night vision on, then it drains batteries. So you have an extra light bulb. Yeah, so you have a battery limit. Um, and on like easy or normal, whatever the lowest is, you can hold nine. I think on the next one, you can hold five. On the one we're on, you can hold two. On the hardest difficulty, you get one. And if you die, you restart the whole game. So we didn't do that, because that's, spoiler, we've died a few times. But we're playing one under that. And having never played the game, and playing with two batteries, there's so many times where we have like a third of a battery and there's people murdering us and it's just a black screen. Like we've said a bunch of times, like, sorry there's no video here audience, but uh, we're not seeing shit either <laughs> and it's <laughs> fucking terrifying. We're shooting it in the stream room, which I love that room for Let's Watches because it's nice, it's contained. I like the background and it's so dark. It's just, it's so much better for the atmosphere of a Let's Watch and especially a horror game. So uh, I think we're gonna shoot one like right after this podcast. We should this really podcast. soundproof the door. We should soundproof because the door for them. For the yeah. editors, yeah. constantly hearing every word we say and screaming while they're trying to edit. Well, I don't know, but uh, Neil, who's editing the Let's Watch, is now. Uh, he uh, have gets you very seen excited. Have you seen him edit, Neil? When, Dude, when he, Neil when he edits the the Outlast. He freaks out. Like, I he, like he's loving it. In a blanket. No, but I'm, he's like, this is not an exaggeration. Neil, one of our editors. amazing editors. I walked in and he was watching Outlast and he's watching it like he's playing it. He's like, <laughs> he goes, <laughs> oh, yeah, like he has at a ball. His desk. He has like, a ball. Neil, he's like, I love these. They're so good. I will. Oh, really I'm so scared. Dude. I went in the in the we went in the editing room the other day and he was editing GTA, and uh, I rarely hear from the editors about the video, you know, unless there's an issue with it or something. But he was like, this GTA, epic. But he was he didn't spin around on his chair. He just led it back and he was like. Epic video. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny when he was spinning around. He was just like had his head back and I was talking upside down to him. Neil's a character. Yeah. We, we gotta cast of characters in that room. This yeah. guy right here. He's one yeah. of them. I'm in there. Now. Freaking nature. So do you hear us just full volume of whatever we're doing? Oh, in this room? Yeah. But if I have my headphones on, it's fine. But yeah, because I pretty much share a wall because I'm right there. And the door is like wafer. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. Yeah. The, yeah, the, yeah, the door the is door, the door is made out of existed. the same thing that your desk is made out of. Yeah, it's also made like out of the same was made out. When of. you got all the lockpick and stuff, it would have been much simpler just to go. Yeah, but that was a, <laughs> that was a more exciting video. I'm yeah, pretty sure it's, it's the same exact fun, kind of door actually, that is the door to get into the actual room. Like the, the we could have also yeah. just this climbed over because yeah. it's like, just got a oh, drop ceiling. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just a piece of cardboard. It's That's ba- it's like made out of these. Could have just climbed over the wall. Uh, apparently, Sister Location is is going to get released after all, but it's gonna yeah. get chopped up. I, it, I've seen some shit on. He it. just uh, just was reading the blog. Like then like, it was like maybe he wasn't release. gonna put it out or some he was nonsense. Saying it was too spooky or something. Shut uh, up! Fuck you! Fuck uh, you, Five Night guy. Yeah, it was, it's kind of a weird announcement. It's a weird but, thing because it's like wait, it's like putting out game, holding back game, because it's too scary. Question mark. Profit. Well, like, yeah, like the, every time. That's like, what I was wondering. Is it so up on the game is because it's too just, scary? Uh, well, that's it's, what. But so now it, they are. It's well, okay, sort of. So he's gonna release it episodically. <laughs> and believe it or not, interesting. I like didn't that realize that this was a, a deal, but I guess it's gonna be non-canon. 
Interesting. I so mean, thank God it didn't fuck with the it's canon. It's like part. It's part of the lore, but it's an ultimate. I don't know. Okay. Well, didn't the RPG was just a terrible turd, and he took it down. Is that is that true? I, I mean, is I there, I, I didn't fucking play it. RPG. Yeah. I think that was. Yep, was, there was. There absolutely awful. was. Yep. Okay, there absolutely so was. We never played it. He's gonna release the mature version of the game by itself in sections, not as part of a timeline, not as part of the lore, and not as part of the story. That's cool marketing, like it's getting people talking about it, yep. like what's it gonna be like? If it falls short though, it's really gonna be lame. So did like, he just not have a game? It'll be lame did as he, fuck, but it's like people still buy it, like Five Nights In, it's already in. I mean, this is what, like his fifth? Fifth game? Yeah. Five Nights? Because there was three of like the main game, and then they made the RPG, and I think it's just this one, I think this is the fifth one. What was the one in the bedroom? I didn't like that one. You talking about that one where you're... That's a different game. I don't it? think that was Five Nights, was it? Wasn't it? The one where you where you have to look on the bed and like, are you sure? I can't remember. Oh, I, I think I, I, no, maybe it yeah, was. No, I really right. don't remember. I've never played any of those. Was it the second one? No, the second one was in a Five Nights of. Ah, oh, fuck! I don't even remember. Nights. Yeah, I remember. Maybe remember that was the saying. third one. It was four. It was, it was four. Was that four? So they made four and then a goddamn RPG. Yep. Okay. No one wants to talk about the RPG. So fifth release. Yeah. yeah. Five games. Never happened. Yeah, I, I remember because we turned around and there was like the things on the bed. Why You're section right. it at this point though? It's like I, I have know. a game, it's ready to go. I don't, know. I don't know, it's a little spooky. Let me just chop it up into small bits. This this is funny though, I will point out. I I, I agreed for, for I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe maybe just because they did it and they do it well in my head, like Telltale. Go mm -hmm. for it. Go episodic. You guys figured it out. Maybe it's just because also like those games for some people, maybe not, but for me, I think it would be boring <clears> as fuck to play for like ten hours in a row. Like a straight Whereas like you're not doing anything. But to play them like an hour, an hour and a half bit, I know a new episode's coming out. I'm like, oh, I'll get like a cool story. It's almost like movie length. I'll make some decisions, and then whenever the next one comes out, it comes out. Mm -hmm. But for full games, you know, for like whatever regular AAA games, they're like, oh, we're gonna cut it up. That's kind of annoying. I just want to buy the game and have it. Mm -hmm. And I remember Gavin and I had this conversation about Hitman, and he was like, I, I remember hating. The he was leading the, the arm, the leading the charge of like the stupidest fucking thing in yeah. the world because he's the biggest Hitman fan in the office. That they're gonna release it episodically. Isn't it like the best game though in the series? Supposedly. I really like it. It's I mean, fantastic. I would, I'd still rather have played the whole game, but the fact that they had that Easter egg where they mentioned what I did in episode one, <laughs> yeah. in episode five, that just couldn't have happened unless Kevin, it was episodic. Kevin like, said to me after months, almost a year, I mean, when the game came out, almost a year ago, like initially came out, I was saying like how stupid it was, he goes, I'm glad it's episodic because now I'm in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I would still rather have had the whole game at once. Like, I like mm -hmm. the story that flows in the background of all the levels. You can kind of lose that if you play it episodically. Yeah, I will have I've that because I lost. haven't yeah. started yeah. the game yet. So, so would, when the last I, episode comes out, I'll just play it. But I'm just like, I'm so happy to be referenced in the game. But it's like, that's cool. I, I feel bad about complaining that it's episodic. I mean, I still don't like the mechanic, but it's like that cool thing never would have happened. It's also an amazing Easter egg. Like, like Achievement Hunter has been mentioned in a couple games. Like a little nod here, a little nod there. You got I like a What's Easter egg? two minute dialogue, like scripted dialogue with two actors, and it's yeah. awesome. So Gavin made a Gavin made a things to do in Hitman uh, called the Puddle Pile. I remember that. Yeah, okay, yeah. where basically there was this this one level where there was you could you could electrify uh, a, pi a, just kept a puddle of water to investigate. Is, exactly. So he just kept luring more and people, more and more people, and you turn it on, they'd electrocute. He'd reset the breaker, turn it back on, so on and so forth. And in that things to do, Gavin said he counted it and he killed seventy people or over seventy people. Mm -hmm. So in this uh, Easter egg in this little DLC, it's um, or not DLC, it's the episode. Um, there's a part where there's two guards talking, you can overhear them, and it's just dialogue. And they I guess they talk about a few things. They talk about there was a gif of, of blowing up the guy in Italy, mm -hmm. and he, he flies up in the air and lands in the well. And they mentioned that as like mm -hmm. that was a funny gif, funny video. So and they like, mentioned like a bunch of things that people have done in the hit. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like they specifically mentioned YouTube videos okay. and like gifs and popular images oh, cool. and shit of the game. That's but nice. like Gavin's thing, they're like, what what level was it? it? Was Paris or something? Paris, yeah. They're like, hey, did you hear about what happened in Paris? And I was like, no, what's up? And they're like, hey, it was this crazy freak accident. 70 people were electrocuted. And it's like, 70? How's that possible? It's like, By a puddle. it was a mysterious puddle. They just kept going over and getting shocked over and over again. <laughs> the guy's like, that's weird. Like, like it's, it's a cool awesome. ass, legit, like, real conversation. That's cool. It's not just a little like, two oh, actual happened. people yeah. recording. Like, someone a wrote a script for them to read. Yes. It, it, would, it would have been a cool, like, even if you went to the place they make the game and you just heard two developers talking about it, it would be cool to hear about that. But it's, it's like scripted. The, yeah, this is game. the actual puddle pile things to do that they're referencing. And you can see Gavin just like setting shit over and over and over <laughs> again. 
and like look, <laughs> look at the pop, and then your game started going to shit, right? That like was the, the frame rate. frame rate. The frame rate was like, good. stop, <laughs> kill me. Because each one is ragdoll for you know ten or so seconds before it then gives before up it on being limp, yeah. but, but every time a ragdoll hits a ragdoll, they all have to kind of react to it. So it, like the frame rate just goes like. <laughs> you're clearly not going to have a pile of bodies that big. You almost you made physics right there looking at it because the game wasn't out yet when you made that things to do. But looking at that and having all the people ragdoll together, my brain goes to the ending of. Inside, like you almost made that creature. You know what I mean? Like that pile could have got up and been that thing. Like, oh, come here, goblin! All electric to you. At one point, I threw a bomb into the into that pile, and I blow them up. And I guess only a certain amount of ragdolls can be affected by the explosion. But like ten of them were like. <laughs> that was fun. I love I love Hitman so much. Definitely one of my favorite franchises. Wasn't the last one not great? Wasn't great. The levels weren't big enough, and it was. That's what it was. It wasn't. It was very linear. That, that was, it was the that was the first Hitman I've ever played, and I was like, I like it. I like the game. But then I started playing this one. I started playing Paris, and I was like, Oh, this is cool. Well, this was, I like the game, was like but it was person action. It wasn't a good Hitman game. Yeah. It was a okay. good game. It was almost like a Sam Fisher game. Yeah, it was like you have to follow this path and like make sure you kill him there and kill him there. Yeah, so you could still do some stuff like set some up action, but and, yeah, yeah, the levels were microscopic. Hitman, Hitman is very much do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, like in its core, and it's awesome. Yeah, like, if, if you wanted to, you can beat, you know, a new episode comes out, it's a big deal, it's like all this stuff. You can beat the level in like three minutes. You run in just like bit, bit, Yeah, bit, it's really not it. about just beating it. Yeah, it's, it's about, about doing everything. Like getting the experience or playing it how you want to play or, you know, it's a great game to save it, do something, reload it, do something else. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've done that in every video we filmed. Even the one that I did where I saved it, fucking drowned the guy in the toilet. Reloaded it, launched the guy out of the yeah. thing. You know, it's like it's fun to do everything. You know, try and again, I haven't really played it, but it, even the thing with the other hitmans, like Blood Money. Once mm -hmm. I beat it, you go back. <clears throat> you know, try and like stealth perfect the whole level or whatever the hardest difficulty is and shit like that. It's fucking fun. Trying all the costumes. I loved in Blood Money. It's just like again, it's like that game mechanic where when you get to the point where you're like, oh, that's cool because you could do that in real life. I remember, it's like vividly in my mind, one of the levels of Hitman that stands out to me is the level in Blood Money where uh, you have to kill the guy that's under witness protection and his son's his, having a birthday party in his, own house, in his yeah. house. Oh my and God. And there's like, there's like, there's like FBI agents or, or whatever like outside watching him in a surveillance van, but you can like drug fucking donuts. You poison the donuts. You poison the donuts. <laughs> you leave the donuts, you knock on the door and walk away and they're like, who's there? Oh, free donuts. And then, they, and then they're like, they pass <laughs> out so you can go kill the guy. You know, you can just like mess with shit at the house. You know, you're, also just, like, you're just enjoying the party. There's a tree house there's in the backyard. There's a tree house with like a, an, an air rifle. Yeah. You can just like yeah. piss people off with an air rifle. Yeah, it's like a kid's, it's like a kid's awesome. toy. It's one yeah, of my favorite great. levels. That, the fucking masquerade levels, ridiculous. And that is a good Hitman game. Every level is like a big sandbox that's completely different. The, dude, the, the, it opens in the training levels, the, the amusement park, yeah. the, the, Hitman, the winery. Hitman like, Absolution so would have these like micro levels where it'd be like, there are five levels taking place in basically the same environment. Okay. You go from this one into this one, and now it's like the same town, but over here it's like, you want a difference between every different level, like it's a different mission. And it just felt like a big yeah. swirly storyline that wasn't very Hitman-ish. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, Blood Money was like, the, there was like the amusement park, there was the, the winery, there was the theater, you know, there was the masquerade ball, the the like Bayou wedding, the the casino. angels devil club. Yeah, remember, it was like the different parties. Like every level was totally completely different. The um, I think it was in Blood Money, the psychiatric level where you had to like go into the yeah. to the friggin' psych ward to like bust out the one guy from the previous games, like the guy that you knew. This might be the first it's fucking cool game that he's not in. Or maybe he wasn't absolutely. Oh, the he was dude? in the first four. Hitman the other games. dude, that that guy. Yeah, yeah, agent, whatever his yeah. name is, ginger yeah. dude. Gingy. In the, in the, Asian Gingy. In the yeah. first one, he's like tied up in a Asian mansion or hotel, whatever. So he gets in trouble a lot. Yeah, he gets into it. God, I really want to play Hitman though. The it's new good. one? Yeah, I have it. I should play it. Have you oh, played still any two of it? more episodes before. I, it's done, I have right? not played a single ounce of it outside of work. They do a cool thing where to get all the achievements, to get like all the mastery, you have to play it multiple times and do mm -hmm. it differently. But they make it less of a bore because each time you get a new level of mastery, you can like start in a different place or mm -hmm. like get an extra piece of equipment that makes it easier and uh it, it feels less like you have to start from scratch every single time less grindy yeah they, I, do, uh, they do it really well the one thing i do miss though about i don't remember which game it was might have been hitman 2 
but you you could take weapons out and you'd have like a base. You'd have like mm -hmm. an HQ and you could like collect stuff yep. from different levels. Yeah, that was at the church. Was that him and too? Mm -hmm. I missed that. That mm -hmm. was really cool because some you had guns... like a, you had like a little shed. It was like a yeah. tool shed with like a thing in the floor or something. Yeah, and some guns were like, like pretty all hard your to get out. Yeah. Well, I remember even the opening of Hitman Two is like, you were the hitman. You beat the first game. You're done. Your life of killing is over. Because the end of the first game is you kill the guy who made you. Yeah, so it's like, that's it. The game wraps itself up in one game. Mm -hmm. And the second game opens up, it's like a classic action hero, black black ops, whatever, murder guy. It's like, I've now retired to a life in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> he's super religious. It's like he's the start he, of every Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, yeah he's, like, he's, I'm he's, out. he's in Spain over. or somewhere in the middle of fucking Dumb nowhere. Uh, like, as like a groundskeeper or something for like a small church. And the priest gets like kidnapped or killed or something like that. And he's like, Diana, I'm coming out of retirement. <laughs> and then after that game, they're like, eh, fuck it, he never retires. And they just like made like a million more. But the opening of that game is like, I am but a simple man. I work for a priest. <laughs> You'll die. The, and yeah, the, the last level of the game is just like, <laughs> in the church, like blasting people away, if you want to be. But yeah, that was like, because I was saying before, like, I like the Hitman games where it's like each one's a different level. The first two games actually weren't very like that. You would have. The first Hitman game, I think the first four levels are in China. The first Hitman game is so hard. It's, it was difficult. Yeah. The controls are like, ah! It uses like 95 keys on the keyboard. You, it's, there's so many shit, like it's hard to map to a controller. Yeah. You, it was like, run, walk, lean around corner. It was like all the number pad on the first yeah. game. It was icky. Icky dicky. Icky dicky. Icky dicky wicky. Hmm. Alright, I feel like we've, we've come to what an actual end, today? right? We're gonna film Outlast, I just said that. What else? That's it. Uh, uh, well, here's what we can do. We can film Outlast 2, Play Pals, the demo. and Outlast 1. Is it just us month. three in the office today? Jeremy's here. Well, Jay's there, but he's working on something. So, wait. We'll figure it out. Sorry, We're good. We got time. Sorry. We got time. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hey. Um, See you in New York. Or we won't, or if you don't or show up. Or don't come. Um, yeah. What's this guy doing? What's going on Did over here? Did you bring in food today? No, I didn't. Oh. It was super early, I didn't have time. Plus, there's leftover food for yesterday. Yeah, left late. Like an old donut. This is old donuts and old kolaches. Well, I think the are donuts they? are gone. There's no. like, Where'd they go? There's, uh, Inside you? Not today, they didn't. I are mean, yesterday? No Some of them went inside you. I had yesterday. one yesterday. How many did you have? More than one. <laughs> We always put the donuts right by, right by Ryan. But that's why I get less them. Than, less than if four. If Ryan wasn't there, I honestly might not even get donuts at all. I get right, a dozen. I get a dozen, and he eats like five. I might. I'm getting, he really I, does. I really have to stop. I have a problem. <laughs> and then we had P. Terry's, and it's, I didn't. It's not. Oh, this is cold garbage. Who wants to eat a cold burger? Anyone but you. Anyone but you. You don't deserve it. He literally looked at the shelf and went, oh, I never ate my burger. So I'm kind of glad you threw it away, because that would have gone in me. Yesterday, though, I did break down and I did go to Whataburger. But I got fucked. You know, still in the wrapper, in We're the back bag, in, in the garbage. In. Sorry, sorry. sorry but one, you, one we quick got shit to do today. Wrap it up. What one do you quick got? Thing. You could have eaten a trash bag. So I'm on a diet right now. Yesterday, I had a salad. No I ate good. And, but yesterday, uh, it was a little long for me. I was just getting really exhausted. And I was going to like make myself a nice dinner, like a nice healthy dinner. And I was like, fuck it. He won a Whataburger, I won a Whataburger, we go to Whataburger, get him a burger, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna the fatty burger. So I got like, I got like a, like a sweet and, sweet and spicy bacon burger, whatever, like a new one. So I pull up, give her the money, get the food, we get back to the house, he gets his burger. Actually, no, they, they fucked up the whole they order. They fucked up, they just gave us somebody else's order. I happened to order a number one, which is just like a regular, regular Whataburger, yeah, they gave me a number cheese. two, which is a double. I'm like, cool. Yeah, so we <laughs> got a double. Upgrade. Yeah. I ordered the fatty fat fuck burger. I got a grilled chicken sandwich. Like a grilled chicken burger. And I was like, well, or a grilled chicken sandwich, excuse me. But it was Wait. just like. Life was like, no, Andy. It, yeah, exactly. It's You're like, not no. allowed. Hey, you sucked down those fries. I though. did suck down all of those fries. I like using suck all when there's no liquid in <laughs> there. You gotta suck that down. I'll suck it down. Gullet. I also forgot your onion rings because, again, we got the wrong order. Did you so. give me a title today? Yeah, I, ram, ram, I don't even remember what it was. Ram, ram. Oh. I feel like maybe you're letting them slip a little, like you're not putting the effort in that you should be, but... Well, what I had, what did I feel about last week? What was it? The Destiny's, Destiny's favorite player. <laughs> That's good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so how good. am I slipping if last week was good? You're going yeah, off of last you're week. You're hit a miss now. Fuck you. End the, end the show. <laughs>